It's 6.02. Uh, I'd like to open up the meeting. Is that the official time? That's the, well, that's the official time according to that. <laughs> that's what we're going by. <laughs> that's the official Woodbury, Woodbury town office, town time. office time. Are there any adjustments to the uh, agenda? Anything? Okay. Any public comment? Yeah. Well, he said that Statements letter. of outrage. Right. No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. <laughs> so um, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, and then I would like to make a motion that we approve the minutes for the uh, October 28th, 2019 board meeting. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I have them here to sign. They it's might be just salting the road. Yeah, it was one of our plows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was one of our plows. It was the orange ones, not the red ones. The other ones. <laughs> the other ones were paid for. <laughs> we own a small I just wish it though. wasn't out there plowing because then we could have green grass still. Yeah. Uh, so next on the agenda is, uh, there are actually two things, but they're both related to the zoning administrator or the zoning um, ordinance. Um, one is a stipend or a way of payment for our, our zoning administrator. And the other is a concern that's been brought to us um, by Harbrick Electric um, and the, the right of way and some of some zoning that um, has um, not worked for the property owners um, regarding the electric uh, utility lines. But we'll talk about that after. Um, I, and I know you're aware of it. I think you've been CC. Yeah, that's why I was here. I just thought I'd yeah. okay. meet you aware of what's going on. It's throughout the state. It's not just, yeah, it's not just here. It's not just yeah. over okay. So um, we're here to discuss, um, and I don't know if we'll come to a decision tonight, but I think we can start the discussion. Um, it's been brought to our attention um, that. Um, our new zoning administrator has been pretty busy. 24 permits I noticed on the list here. And the stipend that we pay uh, the zoning administrator at present is $1,000. Um, and so uh, Susan has done some research to uh, come up with what other towns in the area um, pay their zoning administrators. Um, and it does appear that we pay ours quite a bit less. Um, so, and so my thinking is, you know, do we um, do we want to come up with just a figure, like a stipend figure, or do we want to have an hourly rate or a per permit rate? Um, and I don't know the answers to those that those questions. Yeah, I guess we should probably ask Bob and yeah, see but, what his. Yeah. And then what do you think? Because I have my opinion, but a daily exactly. session. I'd like so. to hear your opinion first. Well, I think um, I think there's enough work that it should be just an hourly thing. What time you're spending on it, you should be paid for. Yeah, the hourly thing is whatever that hourly rate is. Kind of a problem because there's there can be calls. Well, that's it. Yeah. Well, so yeah, you just need to have, or do you prefer a stipend? I mean, the stipends are a little tougher. Yeah. Well, you know, stipends don't contemplate. Um, if you get a like a lengthy appeal where you're ending up in potentially all the way to environmental court, right? Because so that's what happens. That's too. The, the problem I have with stipends. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's yep. like six out of a hundred. Yep. Sure. So you'd have a better gauge of that than me. Ooh, here we go. Yep. And uh, it's yep. and we have a former zoning administrator that might know too. Well, I know with our former zoning administrator there was an issue at the time. She spent. <laughs> well, there were with, uh, several different several different ways I got paid over the years. And uh, at first it was probably nothing, and then it was like, for a while I did $10 a permit, and that wasn't 
adding up to much, and eventually we went to the thousand dollar stipend because that, I mean, I think our annual average is like 40 permits, although this year we haven't gotten close to that. I think we're up to 27 or something. 27 or 8. Which 40 permits comes out to, you know, like, I don't know, $25 sure. a permit, which is mm -hmm. a couple hours wages. So. There were some old permits that I had to get involved in. Right. Because I know we're having a difficult time filling all these positions. So right. My only thought is that sometimes if it's so low, the hourly rate makes it so low it's not worth doing. Or mm -hmm. if, if we could overpay, but um, that's less our problem, I think. It's just making mm -hmm. it so we get quality people who get paid enough to make it worth their while yeah. to do, I mean, do a good job with it. We went around to call around the other towns, surrounding towns, to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. and how many permits? What's your population? What's the Right. The that's 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 it was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> they're all over the place. They are all over the place. We were at the bottom, the way, way yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, are the, what are some of the other ones? I mean, Hardwick is great. Well, well, I can. Time maybe, or? Would you like me to just read down the list? Tell her what Hardwick is if, if okay. you believe she's um, half time. What's it to what she gets? Well, here. Hardwick is just a little bit north of Hardwick. Hardwick is twenty-one thousand two eight hundred twenty-nine dollars with a question mark for the number of permits. Um, other towns oh, that are like uh, uh, Worcester solved it. There's no zoning. Um, Plainfield is. Um, <laughs> That's a one way. Yeah. <laughs> Plainfield, um, it's four thousand three hundred dollars for and thirty five permits. I guess we're done. Um, Marshfield, it's four thousand dollars plus mileage, thirty permits. Um, Elmore, which is a similar uh, population to Woodbury, uh, $8,000 for 27 permits. $8,000? Yeah. Yep. Whoa. This just shows you the, the, the range. variance. Mm -hmm. um, Callis, um, 24 permits, population of 1,500 people, $4,800. Wow. Cabot, um, population 1,300 people, um, $17,530 for 25 permits. There you go. Um, Peachum, $2,500 for 12 permits, uh, 692 people in the population. And Greensboro is similar, um, $2,500, but um, and I'm not sure how many permits they've had. I, I, would, I, I believe she said like an average, which was like to me 25. Okay. So I, I, don't hold me to that. Right. <laughs> what gives her the, the most uh, problems, I think, and, and here too, it's, it's the shoreline. And we've got a lot of that. Yeah. That's where the that's where the fun starts. Mm -hmm. it's so congested. I mean, gauging wise, the hours you spend is there enough hours where you get enough pay to make it worth your while to do it by the hour? Some years or not? I mean, I, I, that's why I could go either way because all it yeah, takes yeah. is one appeal go to court and you well, used let up me all your. Tell you about uh, Bob. He's not an administrator. Uh -huh. Okay, he's not an administrator. I would have to be his secretary administrator to do that, and I don't. Mm -hmm. I have. As you know, as you all well know, I've got a lot of things I'm doing already sure. for the town. Yep. I don't mind doing it if that's the route you all want to take. Uh, but I think he's more looking at a salary and not an hourly. That's what most of the other towns okay. seem to be. The, what yeah. do you think a good amount would be? Yeah. I pass. What do you think, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> to me, it just needs to be fair. Well, you know, yeah. you had a hand yeah. the other way. You know, the, yeah, if it gets too high, you might other, get some competition. Yeah, yeah the other part of this go. is what, what do the permits cost? And I looked at some of them, and it's like, uh, yay, yay. That's yay. True. Our permit fee is ridiculous. I, 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 would, I would like to offer this to the select board that Bob and I look at the zoning administration and the zoning. And all in the other towns, the other towns have like layers of fees, which I think is great. That's a good idea to have different mm -hmm. layers of fees depending on what they're, what, what the you're person doing. wants. Yeah, yep. exactly. If somebody puts exactly. up like like we have here in town a place who's over a million dollars. The fee was twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. If somebody puts up a eight by eight shed. Twenty five dollars, yeah, or a deck, and, and that would take an update of the zoning yeah. ordinance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Changing the yeah. fee and, and if you no, I don't think so. You wouldn't, okay? No, that's what we're going to change. We can change fees, okay? That might be reasonable. Okay. Do you have towns that you can say that we could look at for their fee structure? We have one. Of, we have yeah. one right now. Hardwick. Um, this email from Mike Sullivan. Um, 
part of the lecture. He, he sent Hardwick's uh, zoning, okay. and there's a fee chart at the end of it. Uh, here it is here. That's probably the most thorough there, one. There was? Yeah. There it is. So there's one, here's one example. I only have one copy of it. You can't see us doing that. <laughs> Oh, sure. Sometimes have, you know, it depends on the square footage Correct. of the project. Mm -hmm. and right. There's different levels of fees. Uh, as some towns uh, give mileage, if they give sal if they have a, an hourly, they also have mileage. Uh, where if you're salaried, that's you know, that's not it. bad. It does break down different. Do you think this would be an appropriate thing for the planning commission <coughs> to also discuss yeah. next Monday night? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. my thought, too. Yeah, the, you want good people. It just has to be equitable for everybody. You know, yeah. that's right. But usually. but to take an arrow and to find the right. bullseye, you have I, you to know, try something and see what. It helps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I you all I know is right now a thousand dollars just doesn't get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, agreed. It agree. just doesn't get yeah. it. And you know, I I don't know if you know the background, Paul, but I was an auditor who bought up the um, the select board members should not get five hundred dollars a year. Either. They should get a more than three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that's that's yeah. ridiculous. What would a manager be looking at for? I mean, be talking. <laughs> well, that, I think that's, a, that's an across the board issue. If I wasn't sitting in this chair, getting mm -hmm. quality people in these positions, you're going to have to make it worth their time to be here. Right. That's what the reality of our, the, our situation volunteerism is. Volunteerism is dying. not going to happen. Mm -hmm. No, it's, yeah. it's dying. I mean, it already doesn't. He happen. knows right. Well. So th that's the reality we're facing on every level. Yeah. Just overall, whether we like it or not, if you want quality people in these positions that are actually going to do the job, you're going to have to make it. Something that they we also like have. To. I'll make copies for you, but we have a listing in the in the BFCT. All right, the municipal report. Yeah, we went to that. Too, it was they don't have a lot of yeah. It's all over the place. Even the fire warden is like, I'm okay at the level you're paying. Yeah. Yeah. But if I get one ticket appeal, it's off. I can't do it. Go to court one day. You could be gone all day. Yeah. They almost have one fee for the permit. Right. And then if you have anything else, it's got to be high. Well, one of the one of the options is. Administratively for the town, is there any town thing, or is it all done by the zoning officer? So what? Does the town clerk or any other town function have to deal well, with the, the clerk? Is well, yeah. the system. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Of, the reason the thought I had is if you, yeah, I get paid for if you made the permit, <laughs> similar to what they did, if the permit you're fee. You're getting paid while you're she's doing getting it. She's getting paid by the hour, whatever she so, got. So one of the thoughts I had was. Um, using a structure like this where the permit fee would essentially go directly to the mm -hmm. zoning person. You mm -hmm. set that fee. So if you get 50, you get more money. If you get 25, you get less. Right. And the more complicated the permit, the more... Right. And so you, so that would re that's kind of the way I would think of possibly doing it. That, but it, that, that wouldn't work. Think could do okay. that. Well, I, well, because uh, all the fees, all the permits you get, no matter how you structure the different fees, it would never come up to an appropriate amount okay. for well, an administrator uh, for this town uh, to do the zoning. What if you it, it a is stipend a plus the fee. I don't think there's any towns doing that. It's yeah, I don't think right you can have the fee not go yeah. through the general fund. That yeah, I wasn't it's saying that. No, no, so, yeah. yeah, it wasn't. I you just going you, no, no, but essentially you'd make okay. the pay would All be. Right. But if they're saying that's not enough, then mm -hmm. I would. I don't have an answer yet, but we'll figure it out. Well, certainly the twenty-five dollars per permit times is enough, twenty-five right? it, is yeah, not enough. Right. So, uh -huh. Practically nothing. We could all, you know, you could discuss this as a, you know, and the planning commission about a structure that how you would could be mm -hmm. graduated. I mean, if it's a house, it's a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. If it's a garage, it's fifty. If it's a shed, it's. So it's so it's like a thousand houses. Like what what do you think is like if you got it in a neighborhood of twenty five hundred dollars? Does that get it? Start. That's a good start. Yeah, yes. However you structure it. I, well, I mean, what I'm happens just, if there's a year that there's is not much? Well, yeah, that that's the thing with a stipend. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the issue because the, the stipend cuts both ways. You have a great yeah. year and then you'll have. The problem I got is you end up in court and your stipend's out the window because you mm -hmm. just could end up yeah. with days in court. That's going to be stipend plus. Plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So you, you have another court. option you could do. And there's a yeah. lot more of that, I think, around the. the right. Sure. You could do a stipend plus, and stipend yeah. Yeah. involves standard permits, but then have something yeah. in there that. If and you end up, to start doing Once it's appeals, then you got to yeah. keep track of the hours. Jennifer was in court quite a while. Yeah. With one yeah, she was. I'm just talking out loud. We're not paying yeah. her. 
extra for that was a and that was an issue that was right. a, a right. major issue yeah yeah. yeah. So I think that uh, this you know, Woodbury probably has more lake frontage than any other town. Well, um, it has the most lakes in yeah. the United yeah. States, so probably. And yeah. the, the, the population around the shores is like, I don't know if it's a hundred or a thousand I know times in the more it's awful busy. than the state's mm -hmm. population average. So on the other it's hand, it's definitely. mostly built out. So there's not, right, a lot there's of not much new. What I'm seeing yeah. though is that the density is getting yeah. more and more people mm -hmm. yeah. every summer. Is what I'm seeing. There's shoreland regulations and there's state wastewater there are, regulations that we have to. The zoning yeah, right needs yeah. to make sure that. Well, we're there's a the, just just to fill you in. There's there is a lot of state stuff that there isn't much get, uh, communication at all between them and me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's getting to be more of it. Uh, this new shoreline reg, as I understand it, there's only two towns where the zoning administrator is involved with the shoreline reg. Mm -hmm. They're is more, more state? certified and uh, whatever. They, they can, they can yeah. do it. It's something we could look into. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now, how do they know what's going on? You know, they don't. Judging from, <laughs> I have a. Uh, my family has a camp on Fairfield Pond, and there have been things done there that definitely were violations of the new shoreline regulations. And people, camp owners, complained to the town, and nothing was there. The town doesn't have anybody. Yeah. It's all the state. We don't want to see that happening in Woodbury. Right. You know, I, I, I'm I'm a director for the Federation of Lakes and Ponds, mm -hmm. and I like to see this town have a little bit more respect. For, right. the, for the lakes and, and the rivers mm -hmm. and the ponds in here, and uh, it's going to be bigger than than we uh, we are imagining right now. Mm -hmm. It's going to there will be a lot more building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is now. I mean, the A-frame across the lake from us, Martha Lang's place. Uh, although Bob says I haven't issued a permit from her, she's in the footprint. Doesn't although have to have one. She doesn't have to have one. Mm -hmm. I think that's wrong, personally. Um, I'd like to know what's going on. I think, uh, as Lister also, Bob is, a zoning administration should find what's li being listed, making sure those those two um, entities are intermingled. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing mm -hmm. he's a Lister, um, because he wouldn't know about this A-frame. Nobody would have, be, unless they're in the middle of the lake, in the middle of the summer, and it's all over. <laughs> and in April, Comes April first comes along. That's when the listers get busy and Did figure you tell out. Her she didn't need a permit. She, she never asked. No. She, well, she asked me, and I told her no, you should just just get a permit. It's easier than to uh, because our zoning regulation does say reconstruction is something that requires a permit addition, even though they're not adding to the square footage. But anyways, Ooh. if she asks you, that's. I'm glad I, I have an assistant. <laughs> I, personally, I think our zoning, our, zoning, our zoning laws are wrong. They should be revamped. Well, the planning, oh, yeah. Planning That's planning. No one will argue that point. Really. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and that, the Martha Lying House should be and should have a permit to do what she's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just as an enforcement issue. Mm -hmm. And zoning should be enforced. The listing should be enforced. You know, it's fine having all these rules, nothing gets enforced. Well, that's another another reason to have permits for things that are borderline, because then the listers know. Yes. The listers can exactly. put it on their list. Exactly, that's what I was just saying. Yeah. They well, Mumford, uh, they did a complete rebuild. They did not need any permit. Yeah, they did. You gave a permit. You gave Mumford. them a permit. No, I didn't. Oh, Mumford. <laughs> <laughs> Mumford. It's right on the list. So, so we... We all need so, to look at that. The okay, zoning. Yeah, so go back to the money issue. Yeah, so what was what was your thinking? I mean, you asked for ours, and um, yeah. what? Yeah, what makes it work for you? Right. Based on what I've seen the past two years, I'd say that the 2500 would be a fair amount. Mm -hmm. If things change, well, there's we like try that five permits, and yeah, that would be ridiculous. Because we're in budget yeah. time now, and that could start yeah. next July. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I mean, if that's what he thinks will work for now, we'll revisit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends as, on how many problem ones there are. Mm -hmm. Great. Agreed. Yes. That's where the fun gets. Yeah. Right. Gets so, you know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe the stipend route, and then we can kind of work on getting 
something a little bit more refined yeah, that would reflect the amount of work that your the zoning administrator is actually doing. Mm -hmm. I think Hardwick Electric is, is uh, I mean, Hardwick's permit is probably the one that's going to address the electric right away. Most people, when they, they look at the application, they think right away, oh, that's a road. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> but it says public and private rights of ways. You got water, you got septic, you got telephone, you got power, who knows what else. Cable. Now, the ones that Hardwick has had a problem with, is, are there going to be any repercussions out there? There is right now, I guess. Uh, yeah. One of them, they, they not yes. only built directly under the line, but it's a primary line. Yeah. That really upsets Hardwick wow. Electric. So that means they're That's 2,500 volts. They'll move it at your expense. That's how it's going to be. Yeah. Expense, yeah. So the homeowner okay. that built would have to pay. Let, let, let's let's yeah. finish this before we move on. Yeah, to let's go to that. Yeah. So um, are you okay if we were to, um, you know, vote to make the stipend $2,500, but would we start it at the beginning of the next fiscal year, or would we start it... Now and kind of prorate it for the time that's left in the well, year. I, I've been working pretty cheap here for the past year. <laughs> <laughs> Things need to go up. Okay. Whenever we got it. So if we were to um, bring it up to twenty five hundred dollars and then prorate it for your time um, from here on for the rest right. of the fiscal year, mm -hmm. that would be okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the planning commission will address this, um, and uh, we'll and maybe work with you and try to come up with something similar to what Hardwick has. Uh, I, and I think the, the treasurer is probably going to want you to change the rates. <laughs> My thing is we already created a budget for this year. <laughs> yeah, I know. But so well, this always be, keeping in mind where you're going to get that money from. Yeah, it would be about $1,000, I yeah. guess, that, that well, we it's had to be accounted for. 15, uh, 15, because you're giving him another 1500 Which is just only about half a year left. We're, There's seven months left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So typically I would so, pay him 500 in December and then he'd get the other 500 in June. Okay. Well, it would be basically half a year at 20 so it would be $1200 um, for the rest of the this fiscal year that we would pay him. So you're not giving him the full 2500. No, not this year. No, not because no, most of the years we're already have yeah. all over. Yeah. It would be $1200. Yeah. So it would be a whole it's lot. Still so $1200 that hasn't been budgeted but and agreed. sign off by the minutes that way when I Yeah. Go it'll, it'll be reflected in the minutes. Yes. So does that sound like a yeah, reasonable solution? For us. I don't know how how much time it would take to change the rates. So that's a planning commission. Yeah, th yes. this would be yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time. And, and uh, when's our next meeting? Monday. Monday, a week from tomorrow. A week from Monday. Okay. So yeah, we like to night. every Monday night. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll do some research and prepare for that. Okay, okay. and I'll let Skip know to put it on the so That's kind of where that, well, we need to vote on this first thing. We do, yeah. Yeah. So that's so, the So, that, yeah, let's get off get off another tangent here. And, and we'll never this. finish. So <laughs> I, w I would make a motion, okay. I'd like to make a motion that we, um, uh, Increase the stipend for the zoning as administrative to $2,500 a year. Um, and for the remainder of this fiscal year, fiscal year 20, um, that uh, we prorate it from the time that we make that agreement tonight, which is roughly um, $1,200. Um, so the next payment that Brandy would give you um, would be $1,200 instead of $500. So the motion would be to uh, increase the stipend, the yearly stipend, to $2,500, and for this fiscal year 20, we would in increase the stipend so that the second payment um, for the second half of the fiscal year 20 is $1,200. Is that second half? I probably could have made it sound simpler. But <laughs> you make it right. <laughs> if yes. our math is bad, we'll fix it. Permits, if you go down to like five, maybe well, right. well, let's That's try the, this and yeah. make, make yeah. So, using the simple um, principle. Do we hear a second? All second. All, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, if it goes down, then that's, that's the, you know, maybe you'll pay yourself back for some of the time that you've spent. Well, it, it just is what it is. It it's going to have the ups and downs. Yeah, it's it's going to be the yeah. year that you eat more than you get right. to. So. And, you know, this does sound like a better solution to, mm -hmm. to a stipend, but we've got to right. figure that out. Yeah. So, um, because that can offset some of those costs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Hardwick Electric, um, it sounds like it's, you know, this is 
for according to Mike Sullivan, this has been happening for about all eight, over the place, all yep. over the place, and for about eight years. <clears throat> so, um, and, and then I think now that you're aware of it, um, mm -hmm. it shouldn't happen going forward. But and then how you know, obviously, again, the zoning regulations need to. To they would have yeah. to go to the planning yeah. commission for yeah, the application needs to be revamped yeah. and emphasize the electric power yeah. mm -hmm. because it doesn't address it right now at all. No, it doesn't. It just well, says it does. public it says and private right of way. Oh, okay, so it does and around that way. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't specifically yeah. power lines. So. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything else that you could ask the people when they bring a permit to you? Is there a power line nearby or is there something that can oh, be yeah, yeah. specific just so that we I, don't? I think I like to update the application to ask. Yeah. Show yeah. power lines yeah. and any yeah. easements also, and right away. I'm encouraging the zoning administrator to make um, um, to make a point of going and looking site at visit. what yeah. a site visit. Thank you yeah. of what he's actually approving before he actually approves. It's probably it. uh, the best thing, just yeah. because you don't know what's out in the woods out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Other places. Well, that should have yeah. been going on anyway. Yeah, yeah it, it should wasn't. Yeah, right. Mike oh. Sullivan also provided us with an application for permitted uses from the town of Hardwick, and there are specific sections which he outlined in yellow highlighter that address uh, right aways, especially the electric power lines. Some That's of a that. 50 foot swan. No. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yep. is, yep. this is something that we can use as a template and um, to. Okay. Um, is there a way I get a copy of that? Uh, I, you have it already. Yeah, Bob. Bob has been receiving all of this yeah. stuff from Mike yeah. Sullivan. So. so from now going forward, we've just got to be a lot more careful about The planning that. commission yeah. can work on yeah. whatever updates. Yeah. yeah, and and Bob is aware of it. So and he's yeah. Arizona administrator at the moment. So yeah. you can have this paper copy if you want. Okay. And Bob does have the digital copies on his okay. on his computer. Um, actually, so Mike asked, yeah. so we just kind of get back to him and um, he like a written response, which I'm happy to write. And basically what I'm going to tell him is that our present zoning administrator is aware. And we'll address uh, it. And we'll address it. Um, and then we, aware. Moving forward. forward yeah. Yeah. <laughs> moving and, forward. And the planning, commission. planning commission will be working on uh, modifying the uh, zoning regulations. Um, yeah. So. It is not much of a change to the regs, just got to Yeah, it's just got to clarify. I think it just needs to clearly say this yeah. includes yeah. power lines, right of ways, easements need to be shown on the drawing yeah. so we can yeah. decide. Yeah. 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 And it sounds like from what Diana yeah. said yeah. that we could do that. Yes. Um, yeah. that. It doesn't take yeah. the planning. Because it's really not changing yeah. the zoning. It's We just need to expand that right. language right. to say yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. this includes power lines, easements, things. Yeah. That yeah. You need yeah. to show so it on your submittal. It, if it's on there and they don't show you, then it's on them. Mm -hmm. Right, right then now it's, it's kind of on yeah. us. Because yeah. right. there could be a buried line and we don't know about I don't know. Yeah. Right. Right. And there was another one that happened uh, last week. Mm -hmm. okay. so Architects wanna... and stuff, and it was like, mm -hmm. we're going to move lines. I could probably try to change yeah. that language in the zoning regulations mm -hmm. for our next meeting. If yeah, that'd be yeah. fine. If okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we looked at it one day just, with Diana. To me, it's a clarification. It's it's it sounds simple. like it's already it's in there. It just needs to be clarified. Exactly. Yeah, and I, yeah, and if we can do that and approve it, that would that's be not a change to the regulations. Uh, I've, that, I've, yeah. Excuse me, I've, I've already submitted that I will be doing that. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. So I, I so I'm will happy update, to have you do it. I will have to write our application. I will submit different kinds of fees. Um, Okay. And whatever you all need, I, I will make this happen for By you. the next okay. meeting, or can you do it by the next Monday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no, next Monday. Oh, by the next Monday. Oh, oh, two weeks. Yeah, we, we don't, the zoning, the planning commission does not have to be involved in that. It would be good for us to discuss it. Okay. You guys can but, um, if you, you, you today. If you could write it so right. that it's ready to, for the change for the next select board meeting, then we can make it official. Perfect. Yeah. I these, can do that. Moving these poles around, that's, that's usually about a ten thousand dollar price yeah. of a little gig. Yeah. 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 And it's up to the property owner to pay for that. Yep. So yes, it is. So it behooves and then they have both to them and us to somebody else's land involved, they have to get easements. Yeah. Yeah. Which could cost even more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All kinds of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So we Pretty much covered that, do you think? Anybody, anything else about the zoning administrator and the Hardwick Electric right away? Do you have any idea of fees? Have you got thought about that? To, uh, you have point to the saw, uh, Hardwick. The other uh, places, the towns, I haven't seen what theirs are. 
It'd be interesting right. to see what calluses are. We could try to get more. Yeah. To just to would you for, rather a per permit fee, or would you just rather have a, a salary for the year? Probably salary for the year because things move around we did, yeah. a lot. Yeah. And but we could make the fees cover come more closely yeah, to covering that salary. Yeah, so, so we'll so raise our fees. Right, so the town right. doesn't have to come up with the money. Right, so that's, that's, that's my goal. Theoretically, the permit should be paying for the... Theor that's in theory. We should, if we're yes. getting about 30, 25 permits, that, that should cover yeah. most or all of that fee. So the taxpayers aren't paying anything. System. Another Tell thing us. that you could research, Susan, mm -hmm. if you wanted, how kind of come up with an average number of permits per year that would very deals with maybe over the last five or ten years? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. 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 that upgrade. Yeah. 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 Or even the types, if it's a whole kind of yeah. Yeah. revenue yeah. neutral or yeah. close yeah. to yeah. a share yeah. 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 Which is a great thing is the permit. As long as the fee is exorbitant. Yeah, hundred dollar fee. Most people mm -hmm. pay that. Yeah. Yeah. Like twenty five dollar fee for a, a shed. And right. The hundred. Yeah. yeah. The one at our state level is fifty bucks for almost six thousand dollars worth of work. So fees go up pretty fast. Ten thousand dollar fees, nothing. And we've had one fee fits all, I guess, for years. So it has no reflection if you're building a mansion or a shed or fence. Yeah. So are are we ready to move on? I am. Okay. All set? Thank you, Susan. Yeah, thanks for your work on this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your zoning <laughs> administrative work. <laughs> You'll be better compensated. <laughs> well, you guys need to be. I mean, that's, I don't understand why in Vermont, select men just don't seem to. I mean, there's a lot because of Because traditionally, it's a volunteer You have to job. raise it and then quit, so it's not self-serving. <laughs> Probably any time you raise it, you're raising your own pay. <laughs> <laughs> so if I get to do it, you do it on the last day, and then you move on. It's not for you. Well, when I finish this project, Paul, I'll look into the select board research. Or someone on the outside has to do it. Yeah. yeah. It just uh, the problem is it of yeah. appearing. So well, we're a small town, but yes. still, we need to compensate yeah. our volunteers. You heard what I said. I, you know, we're not going to have anybody in these jobs if we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ron was told that he was going to be on the agenda about 20 after, so he's not on until 740. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, I know as the person who makes the agenda, I didn't know that he was coming at all, so somebody telling him he's going to be on the agenda at a certain time, you know, I need to know that so I can put it on at that time. But if he's here and expecting to be, to to want to be with us, we can just jump around. Kim okay. is also here, who right. is on the agenda. We so could do them both well, close I, together. I just thought that I, he could take mine and I could bump him back. Yeah, I mean, if he if he's wants to get home um, and wants to come in here, then fine, we'll do okay that. that. Yeah, I'm yeah, okay with that Ron. too. But Ron Rath. Rath. Oh. Is he here? He's here. But, right now. But I didn't even know that he was is Kim next. coming in until. Um, Kim, do you mind letting Ron step ahead of you for a moment, and we'll limit yes, it? No. <laughs> it shouldn't take more than five minutes. Ronnie, you're it. We got the chair all warmed up. Sit down. <laughs> you get right on. <laughs> so fire away, Ron. You're up. <laughs> well, I, I'm just I'm just here to just, uh, see if you guys are going to pay for that. What they did up there on the road. Uh, yes, we are going to pay for it. Um, I called when um, Paul brought this up to me at the last select like, board meeting. Your concerns. Um, I called uh, Shauna Clifford, the District Seven. Um, B trans manager, director, um, and I explained, uh, you know, we were concerned that there weren't any cement blocks at the bottom. And she, there was a pre-construction meeting that she and the, the state germ board, the state rivers guy, met with Daryl Matthews. He had a different idea on how to solve the problem. Um, and they discussed it, and those two people okayed the change that he talked to them about. In fact, they thought it was a better idea than the cement blocks um, and what so what he did was he put large blocks of stone down on the base um, so we just kind of dumped them over the bank they're down at the bottom and then he put the smaller stone on top of it so underneath that smaller stone there are large stones that should hold and, and they approved it and um, 
you know, they're the ones that are paying, and they're actually the ones paying for the work. We're, it's a grant that we have with them. So if they weren't okay with it, then they wouldn't have okayed it um, for him to do that. Okay, so 30% uh, of that is going to be down the brook. We'll see. Yeah. Yep. Yep, and we'll see. so who's going to take care of that? We'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, I so you guys, probably, you guys yeah. probably won't even be in office when that comes down. Right. Through. I went and looked at it um, Did you get the morning work? after uh, the, the Halloween rain. The brook? I yeah. went down to the brook and everything looked fine. There was nothing that had moved at all. And obviously that wasn't the same no. type of flow of, of water as that we had in May. Um, but it was, pretty, it was a pretty good flow coming down. Um, and you know I can I can call Shauna tomorrow, and you know Brandy's brought up the issue that the you know the cement blocks were part of the contract. Um, but it might be smart if Shauna would go talk to Ronnie because he's have that happen. he's there all the time. That's my only concern is he's right. very aware of what happens. Yeah. This was basically approved by the people that are paying for it. The town really isn't paying for it. We we got a, an emergency grant to repair that. There's um, no match. There's no, there's, there is a match, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the town yeah. is paying. Yeah. So, um, so how much is the town paying for? The town is, you're going to see, it's a 10% 10, uh, 10 match. Um, so we'll be paying about $2,000 out of the $22,000. Yeah. And so my question still stands, who's going to <laughs> clean up the bottom of the... And that's a valid right. issue. Because yeah. I mean, yeah. it's coming down. Has it come down already? No. No. But it, oh, yes, oh, it has. It has already? Yeah, there's some stones in the brook that wasn't there when they first put... So well, those, those stones down. that are in the brook right now were, were there from when he built up the piece. There were some pieces that fell I was there after they were done and they weren't there. Well, I was there right after they were done, too, and they okay. were there. So we got an argument there. Yeah. So <laughs> I, think, I think one resolution of this, I think we may want to have Ronnie and Sh Sean. He can share his concerns. Was, I yeah. do understand Ronnie's position mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. when that stuff washes down. The light stuff I think is going to come down. Mm -hmm. The big stuff may not. And that's mm -hmm. going to be an issue in that culvert and behind right. Ronnie's right. garage. And yeah. so um, I I think we should delay on answering his question until mm -hmm. Shauna goes there. Shauna would be the best Ronnie for you to talk to. Yeah. But, but not only that, the contract states. I, I got it. But see the problem where our hands are in trouble, our hands get tied when their engineer says that what there is adequate that's the right. problem we're into but the, the the paper that we're going from any legal terms we fall back on no, i got it there's so, nothing else saying so basically there was a change to a tweet. yeah there should have been a change order there should have been a change order. so you're right if there was no change order then we have an issue if there was a change and that's the stuff i think we need to produce right. agree they have one yeah, yeah. And technically, they they had a verbal agreement with him, but there's no paper. Right. We need a written change order because yeah. other than that, they're correct. Yeah. If there was a written change order approved by the state engineer, then we're stuck mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. So I can request that, and I'll also try to set up a time. Are you that Shauna could come and? No, most of the time. Most of the time. Okay, because she. And then she can produce it. Because I have the same kind of feeling. If no change order was produced, right, then they need to produce yeah. it. If that's what they're going to accept, we need a written change order. Mm -hmm. no, that I, way we got I agree to go that, back. that we do need that. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. other than that, they're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the spring, if a lot of stuff comes down, let us know so that we can have Shauna and whoever come back up right. and say, okay, it didn't work. work. I mean, we yeah, could so have, we we could have an agreement with uh, VTrans that if there is a lot of stone that comes down from that, um, that the state pays for it. That would be very smart. And I don't, yeah. I don't know if they would do that or not. Well, the other other agreement we could put, because Ronnie's concern is, and I think it's valid too, is if, if the thing fails in 10 years or 8 years mm -hmm. or 5 years, mm -hmm. um, I don't, regardless of how the state thing comes out, it, we could write a letter to him that's going to him and on file saying we're going to clean that brook out mm -hmm. if it fails. That's mm -hmm. how you resolve the problem of behind his garage. Because yeah. I've been behind his garage and the stones are coming down, not recently, right. but... Right. There's a real concern there. Right. So when you said we, are you talking about VTrans as we? Well, the or town of Woodbury, town, town. regardless of what VTrans does. Okay, all right. Because it's not a huge expense, but, mm -hmm. you know, the stones get in. We've dug it out once this year. Yeah, yeah. That's my opinion. Well, it could be a huge expense if that beaver dam ever let go. Well, the rocks would all be what down to a <laughs> long way away by then, but... But even the increase in Swenson coming down that hill, there's still vibration there still. So I don't think it's just rain that's 
Well, I, I think the road vibration is pretty minimal for those stones that no. are there. The road uh, by, we come out of Ronnie, uh, Barton's, well it used to be Ronnie, but anyway, Barton's right there. Remember how Brian and I was telling you the water run all the way down? Yeah. That sunk a foot mm -hmm. since they blacktopped it. Mm -hmm. The blacktop has sunk a foot? Yep. Really? You can see the split. Mm -hmm. And that used to be kind of level up through there. Six. And the guardrails are actually kind of wrinkling. Are, are you talking about the blacktop patch? No. Nope. That they did it or the blacktop for what? Whatever you came out of Ronnie Barnes or yeah. Ronnie uh, Lewis's. Lewis no. Barnes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lewis Any Browns. Yeah, Lewis Browns. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All that there. And that's all just gravel that John put in years ago. Mm -hmm. And that's so it's uh, kind of settling, yeah. Yeah. Those that, cracks in the pavement right there? Yeah. I had noticed right. that. I mean, that's up to the town. That's a town problem because that, yeah. that is well, actually a town road. That's right. a Right. That's it's, a, uh, it's, you know, it's yeah. sliding into the brook. And that's what happened up here. That slid into the brook. Mm -hmm. That's all mm -hmm. filled in yeah. pretty near to the cemetery. Yeah. But, you know, the, so we should go up and look at it. Sign you guys should. Yeah, you yeah. should. Well, that's where that Shauna meeting, Ronnie can share his mm -hmm. concerns with right. Shauna. Yeah. You should go up and look at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe take some pictures, whatever, just so we got some right. comparisons mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. down the road. But I think it's yeah. good that she hears what he has to say yeah, right? from Ronnie. Agree. He can yeah. express all his concern. Yeah. But the second problem, though, is moving forward, and we, how we deal with it if the stuff comes down. Right. Mm -hmm. And where was you standing when you uh, was looking at it? You were standing on a brook level? I was, up, I was up on the guardrail, looking down. Yeah. I think that's so you way. didn't go down to the base of the brook? I didn't go down to the basement. So you didn't see it. So you can see that it's moving already? No, but you no. just go down and you'll I got common sense. There there was stone from the you know, I went I went there the day after he was finished. I was checking on whether the, the cement was. So you didn't go be. down on my land and look at the brook. I didn't go down near your house. I just looked at the, no, the construction there. site. That's yeah, the best way is to go right behind yeah. Ronnie, walk up the trail and then down. Are you all right up to where that slide was? And okay. Half that bank that you put in is on my land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you on both sides. So of I, I think that the resi right, resolution of this yeah, yeah, brook, right. I think the, well, the one of us is my uh, with them and mm -hmm. rock to hold them. Oh, really? what rock yeah. is. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At least you could document the way it is right Half now, and if it's <clears> moving, <throat> then the state still has an issue. Mm -hmm. like the stuff that's going to come down from William. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to end up behind his garage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it won't be out all the way down. Yeah, up the the village. Village. <laughs> we'll be taking it out either way. Right. right. So I understand his concern. I think meeting with Shauna, yeah. Yeah. Ronnie can do the walk in, get the pictures, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Even if we have to write something, whether the state pays or but there's something in writing right. that if that fails, ends up. Yeah. Ronnie doesn't pay to dig it out. I understand what his yeah. concern is. It's a valid concern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, definitely was, documenting it. It was like a waste of money the way they've done it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so just the way they did it, just by dumping the rocks over. Yep. Yeah. Because they didn't put the big blocks at the bottom right. like they said they were going. Yeah. Right. And if you went down there and stood at the base of the river, when that's up high, mm -hmm. you're it, it's over your head. Right. So, so when you're down, down there looking at yeah. it, you take that into consideration, you're halfway up. Mm -hmm. I already painted the rocks halfway across. Because mm -hmm. yeah. then she's on, he's on record with the state. Right. Sharing so his concerns. I think what I'll try to do is have both uh, Jaron Borg and Shauna right. come. Um, yeah, maybe, I maybe did hike up in there with, yeah. with Ronnie, mm -hmm. and I do have concerns still. Okay. I'm, just, I'm not trying to throw rocks in it, literally, but it just doesn't look like it's heavy mm -hmm. enough stuff. Okay. But again, we're kind of tied. If they right. approved it and they put the change they order did, and approved they did it, approve we're, it, yeah, then yeah. we're kind of stuck with it. But yeah. Ronnie needs to be held harmless mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, harmless is just like not gonna work. Agreed. So I'll call her tomorrow morning, and um, we may try to try to meet this week sometime. Um, yeah. As soon as, as soon as we can, yeah. It's already winter if you've been outside. Really? Well, before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you do get a meeting, let because, us know. Because uh, so. by the time that bank comes down, you're not even going to see where they put the stakes in or nothing because they're going to be just buried. It's going to be halfway across. The stakes that they put in on the edge of the yeah. burp to kind of hold the crap back. The rebar. The rebar. Yeah, 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 rebar. rebar. Yeah. I saw the rebar. I was like, <laughs> no. If you went down and looked at it, you'd be... I think the rebar would have worked if there were those big cement blocks there, but with the stone, I just got my doubts, no. and this doesn't yeah. look like it's going to Well, work. yeah, I mean, the... I hear, I, I know, yeah, I yeah. just... <laughs> and uh, the drawing, I just see the drawing of it, that's nowhere near the decline or, you know, 
where it's at for for the slope for, for the slope if they put the granite blocks out or whatever you put out there you put in it it's going to be in the middle of the riverbed yeah, yeah i always thought that the fix there would have been sheet pile drive sheet pile and then put stuff behind it but that'd be a lot more money than what we spent mm -hmm. right but that would stay you know that in a walking sheet pile they drive it with a crane and drive up a walking wall in there do you have a phone number listed in the book? Yes. Okay. Good. I'll give you a call. As soon as I know when they can, you're pretty much available anytime. So, yeah. cause, okay. Give a message. Okay. If I don't recognize your name, I probably won't answer it. <laughs> well, you, they're going to be checking on your car warranty. <laughs> so, my third, my 18 year old pickup truck is getting out of warranty. <laughs> okay, so we'll try to get Shauna and Jaron, and you can get. Give them a good talking to. Okay. Okay. We'll hey, you guys should go down. You're going to go down and look at it down there. Uh, I have gone down there to look. I actually photographed it from the bottom of the stream when I first went out. So oh, I had photographs yeah. from that. Um, well, when I first but, went out, no, I already. But yeah, I haven't now. gone down. I yeah. haven't gone down since. Yeah, if they've got a time that they're coming down, you should let us all know. Yeah, I'll so try to get there. We yeah, have to walk up. There. Right I've been up there and looked at it since yeah. it was mm -hmm. done. You should yeah. come yeah. up yeah. walk, walk up the step and go down there. And that's why I gave it the yeah. I just mm -hmm. question marks mm -hmm. in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough spot. Really a tough spot. Yeah. And they put it up. Yeah. And did you see where they put the log across to hold the gravel up? No, I didn't. That may have been when they so he could get his excavator down there. No, no. you said you looked at it after it was done. Uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't see that at all. No, okay. that's, a, that's at the bottom. No, that's oh. right by the pine tree. Well, is there spruce tree or uh, I don't know what kind of that's spruce. So they used it as. Well, he he made a ramp to get down there with his excavator. That they put a pothole in stuff. there. See, and it's holding up eight inches of the dirt. Well, and that's all going to be broke too. But right. That's the site. Yeah. Yeah. That tree rocks. Yeah. But anyway, not a okay. good job. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Try to hopefully maybe this week even if yeah we'll try weather goes try for this week yeah. but um, soon I mean as soon as they can come we'll yeah 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 they so have to hope we won't need snowshoes to get up there right next week it's warm up I hope so is it <laughs> I like Ronnie's view. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> he wants the snowmobile. So. Yep. <laughs> you can do that after December 31st. Yep. Between then and March 1st. <laughs> so, we're good for now? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, okay. okay. we'll be up. Okay. All right. We have to do something uh, later because I know he's just worried about getting all that stuff out. Right. That's the second concern. Yep. Okay, we Ken. Will be responsible Thank for, you for, for the state. I mean, if Shauna, she's produced that change order. Not produced, so we kind of have an issue. Yeah. I would agree with Randy Ronnie. Hi, Ron. Change order is not produced. So. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Why did you change? Yeah. Because that's why I do construction all the time. We can make change like that. You need to write a change order first. Everyone signs off, everyone's happy, and then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wrote this one out for the one on. If it was easy, we were talking about. Do it. This yeah. is one on flat or yeah. These are blank. You have to do another one later. You can fill it in. Okay. okay. You're up, Kim. I'll try to make this as sweet as <laughs> possible. Um, as in short, sweet or short, short and brief. I don't need sweet. Um, <laughs> I've got. Four owners that have received three notices, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I'm speaking with the state police um, today, and mm -hmm. I'm going to speak with them again tonight mm -hmm. because I want to speak to the uh, night shift uh, supervisor um, to look at season the dogs on... Um, Buck Lake and King Pond Road, um, and the dogs at 66 Flat Road. Um, Flats in the village. Flats. Flat, yeah. um, I want the state police there because of the incident that uh, transpired a, a week ago, mm -hmm. and 
that will be their final notice within a week I would be back with the state police to see those undetermined amount of dogs. That on Flat Street? Flat yeah, Street, 66. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't know how many dogs are there? Nope. Undetermined number. Okay, that's why I assume that's what that meant. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and that's about it. I'm having a little go around with uh, Ryan Deano. I'm in possession. Dono. De Dono. How do you say De Dono. He's up on North Hill, uh, North Road. Mm -hmm. um, I've got his dog Oatmeal. I've had his dog since uh, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. The town's tried to contact him. I've gone up there and contact you know and knocked on his door and left a note. I just got a call from him today around uh, 2 33 o'clock. Um, mm -hmm. He said he doesn't have any money, so that may turn into an uh, abandonment issue. Mm -hmm. And I got one that I just added to the uh, thing and on. How much does he? He doesn't have any money to pay for the license, or there's a fee when you seize a dog too, right? Uh, the dog is licensed. The problem now is he's allowing his dog to run at large. Uh huh. And that's a no no by the state. Up on the north road. By the much Well, there. when when it when it hits Cabot. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's it's, mm -hmm. it's right. really running at large. Mm -hmm. Running at large. Yes. Yep. I got a call from my owner in Cabot, and I retrieved the dog. Wow. So what do you do with a dog like that? You hang on to it for X amount of time, then. Well, the state of Vermont says if the owner doesn't claim it in ten days, it's considered abandonment. Mm -hmm. So you can sell it or. Uh, or turn it over to the main society or whatever. Have you told him that, that that's what happens if he doesn't... Is it a fine that he has to come up with now for that? Yeah, there's a fine that he has to come up with now. Not only the uh, the, the fine for boarding the dog. Mm -hmm. If we want, we can also issue a magistrate fine too. Mm -hmm. But that's like getting blood from a rock, you know. Right. Yeah. I don't know that you want to do that. If the guy comes up with the money for... What's the minimum amount that, that, we, that he could get his dog back? Well, right now it's at 50, 60, $60 today. $60 dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And it's uh, tomorrow being so $70. Longer, longer you keep it today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did he pay you last time? He said he did. I'm questioning the... He did come in and get the dogs registered, but as far as paying did what... The boarding fee, I don't know. Yeah, that's, pay. that's, he said he, he paid did, it to you he guys. He pay, because that's how I pay him. Oh, okay. Does he get a receipt? Do we have a receipt from one of those? Oh, yeah. Like yeah. That oh, yeah. Okay, so, we have a record. Record. Yeah. so right now he's at $50, and he, he knows that you guys are open tonight. So, mm -hmm. and the fact that he hasn't showed up. Mm -hmm. And he usually comes and gets his dogs wherever people call from all over, and if, they, if I give him their, them mm -hmm. his number, mm -hmm. he goes and gets them, but then it just happens again. I mean, again, the again. town clerk in Cabot called, and she was, up, she was uh, mm -hmm. upset because the dogs were in somebody's barn chasing the cows. And so they it's could get shot. Yeah. There, he has two, but I'm in possession of one. Oh, okay. that's only, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also got a call from the Hardwick veterinarian mm -hmm. about his dogs running okay, loose sounds, so sounds you know there's several mm -hmm. calls coming in about yeah. the dogs mm -hmm. running yeah. loose yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm at this point I'm planning on season two dogs on Wednesday mm -hmm. and given the people on Flat Street one week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they've already had the third notice the mm -hmm. third notice ex uh, concludes, I think, on the 14th. Later this week, yeah. You know, so I'm actually giving them an extra, you know, five or six days. Mm -hmm. And you heard about the one of their dogs attacking a neighbor dog? That's the okay. incident <laughs> that I was referring to with Richardson. Not just and not being right. It isn't just the whole thing about the dog on dog. It was the owner 
po or possible owner of the dog in his belligerence mm -hmm. to Richardson on Richardson's property. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. mm -hmm. boy. Yep. So that's where we're okay. right at this point. Okay. All right. And I, I didn't get with Laura today because I was coming here tonight. Yeah. But I'll get with her um, by Wednesday, you know, to find out about uh, the other people who should be done. Okay. Okay. All okay. Right. Kim, thank you for doing this very thank unpleasant you. work. <laughs> he should get a raise, too. <laughs> Go ahead and ask. They're very generous. <laughs> no. No, I am going to. Now, the fines that they pay, is that paying for what dog food that you're giving these animals when you have them in custody? That's, yeah. The boarding fee, yeah. Care, that's, yeah. that's the okay. boarding fee, and I'm going to be in contact in the select board to raise it slightly um, okay. because um, I'm feeding a very high protein dog food. Mm -hmm. It's 84% protein, mm -hmm. which means it costs about 84% dollars for a 25 pound bag. Couldn't just feed them old bread? Oh I could, I could, but the problem with that is I feed whatever dog that is in the kennel, right. you know, what I'm feeding my guys. Okay. If I buy a 50 pound bag, mm -hmm. I may end up yes. donating it to the mm -hmm. Humane Society because, you know, yeah. it's set out too long, mm -hmm. so it's, yeah. in the long run it's cheaper. Yeah. Because I'm not wasting food. In right. the short run, it's, you know, like I said, you know, I've had this dog since Wednesday and mm -hmm. four scoops a day, you know, well, adds up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when my guys go through a one, you know, one bag a week, so I'm yeah. going to have to, mm -hmm. you know, get more. But that's mm -hmm. a different time. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> nope. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Thank you. And I'll get with you. Um, I'm going to, when I get to work tonight, I'm going to okay. speak with the shift What's manager Randy is of the state police and try to report a uh, trooper in the area. I'm trying to get there. Okay. Yeah. Some yeah. of these things that reload my ink and I'm so I can take a sign for a Okay. 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 Sit back there. <laughs> we can't hear you from there. Oh yes, you can. <laughs> we don't bite. I just. We, don't bite. <laughs> we might bite. Yeah. Okay. okay. Everybody has their financial statements. Mm -hmm. We'll them on the table. Yep. Balance sheet, financial statement, and due to due from. So if you look at the balance sheet, you are negative 1.6 million. Perfect. Wow. I saw some big checks you had written. I was yeah, for somebody right. to catch that. <laughs> I thought it was a typo. So as cheap as Brandy is, I do not have to hand over the school checks until Wednesday. Therefore, mm -hmm. I am letting that money stew in my money market. Perfect. Yeah. Until I have to those let go those of Those huge it. checks I saw. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the two. 1.5 million. It was about 1.6 million. 1. 6. Yeah. 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 Do we have that same page that you've got? No. No. We don't. Your balance sheet's right here. Okay. Just so where it's negative yeah. 1.6 million. Um, and as you look below that, oh, right. we have 2, two million. We due roughly to. have, well, that's in the due to, due from. Mm -hmm. Not due to, the Money ICS. Money ICS. Exactly. So we yeah. roughly have 2.3 mm -hmm. in the money market right now. Yeah. I'm going to get every bit of interest as I possibly can. So going forward, uh, the last two weeks, it, because I wasn't here the two weeks before, right. but this is just for the last two weeks. Um, property taxes, 69000 I transferred our delinquencies. So mm -hmm. Ron had got it down to 21000 Wow. Or 31000 31. I apologize. Um, and I... Added right to that, 226000 for delinquencies. Mm -hmm. um, Back to work for one, I guess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> how, that, much, how, how much was our this year delinquency? How much was it? 
I had gotten down to. But this year, people that wouldn't pay that were late this year. Two hundred twenty-six thousand. Okay. Typically, right. it's around three hundred thousand. Oh, so we're not bad. So it's okay. it's uh, below. That's good. What was? Mm -hmm. um, he has given me, um, of course, the ones that didn't make the the deadline. Um, was uh, thirty-six thousand four hundred fifty-nine dollars, and that was right after it went delinquent. Um, mm -hmm. Land recordings, copies, map recording, land postings. Um, our revenue that we had taken in. Mm -hmm. um, so, da, 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 da. the other kicker um, were the, the um, prepaid taxes, where it's eight thousand six dollars and twenty three cents. Those are what I have to reimburse people for their okay. escrow companies paying before they filed late. So that 8000 will be on the next, on the 25th. I cut all the checks so for that 8000 yeah. It's going so out. It's liability. It's money that came in that we shouldn't have gotten. Correct. Okay. Yep. So I'm holding it there. I have mm -hmm. to. So the next, on the 25th, I'll be doing all the refunds of those. Other goodies. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So the state's also given me um, December 1st and June 1st. I will have to cut two checks, two separate checks. Uh, December 1st is 58000 It's due. For when, what would that be for? It's due to the school. It's due more school, money. More school education. money. Okay. Yep. So, um, so that's two more installments and so that's the liability at the top, the hundred eighteen thousand. Yep, that's 000. due to the school. Yep, okay. that'll be broken down into um, whatever's left gets kicked over to uh, current revenue. Okay, and then are there any other payments that go to the school? Nope. In, so we'll, once that's done, it's one installment. That's why it's okay. one whack. That's why it's 1. such a big, big number. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, we did end up getting our. If you look at your financial statements for revenue, we got our, both of our pi, uh, pilot payments, pilot land, pilot Adrian. building. For the revenue conservation camp. You're on the second page. No, second, yeah, okay. So okay. we got those so two in. We got the, the um, and it's hold harmless in of 34000 um, So we've got all of our revenues in for this fiscal year. Okay. And was the 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 A and R pilot um, for the building and land? Is that that was? They were two separate. They were down. They were down from what they we were down. What, what they what had we been. estimated. Yep. Do they ever give us a reason? How do they determine that amount? It's that's I, within I our grant how, list, and I don't, I don't, yeah. I can't explain that. Yeah, I don't understand why it should be. It fluctuates huge. Very, Last yeah. year we did good, and 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 but because it's uh, there's one. nothing different. I mean, the buildings are there, and I don't know how they. Yep. Hmm. Balance in their books on our backs, right? Right. Is it determined on how much people get for the homestead through the state? Diana, do you know no. the breakdown for the This is the, the conservation camp up at Buck Lake. Oh. Yeah, so it's not really private property, it's state property. Right. Um, and I've always assumed that it was a, kind of a, a payment that they give the town and, and the fact that, you know, that basically they're non taxable. So this is just kind of yeah, the helping the town out. Right. Yeah. 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 But it's down. It's down approximately three thousand. Really? Yeah. Well, two, two, three thousand. We have estimated nine, and then we got six. The yeah, but the other one is up almost two thousand. So, what are the two of them added? To, um, I can't do this quick enough in my head. But it's sixty. It's thirteen thousand three hundred, and we had budgeted fourteen thousand. So we're pretty close. It's down about seven hundred dollars. Um, from what we expected and the year before the actual see it changes the actual for the buildings uh, last fiscal year was five thousand eight hundred and seven dollars and this year it's six six thousand eight hundred and forty three dollars and then the actual for the pilot land was eight thousand one hundred and ninety three dollars mm -hmm. and this year it's Six thousand five hundred sixty-four dollars. The, the the amount of land has not changed at all. Right, the money just keeps bouncing around. The yeah, and the buildings. Out. I mean, I think last year kind of reflected the new building that they have up there, but the buildings haven't really changed no. either. So, I don't know why it changes from year to year. Because 
<laughs> but it is, it's, you know, it's fairly close. Um, that would be a Ron. I'll ask Ron when he comes in next. Because, you know, Because they just take it right off the grand list on the it's, 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 That's 13,000. And then that's 300, basically another 400. So it's $13,400, roughly, that they paid us. And we anticipated $14,000. Was the interest? Oh, those are still yeah. going. Yeah. So it's it yeah. is it is not what we expected. Yeah, I don't understand why. Too high. Mm -hmm. yep. If you don't get it, you don't get it. Yeah. But that one bites. Yeah. Well, yeah. six hundred dollars. It still close. bites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I mean, would be surprised mm -hmm. if Ron has an answer either. Um, I could call Fish and Wildlife and ask them and why it changes from year to year. Um, right. You may never find the right person that can get No, I think I know who I can. I think I know who I can ask. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so maybe I'll do that just for my own curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> if I get anywhere. <laughs> um, so I did. It. There were a couple things that on the uh, the bills that I noticed. Um, yep. So uh, Greg had labeled the cement pad, the the cement that we bought um, under. Um, 026-50-68.24, and that's for the, uh, on our, on the listing, that's for the hydro seeder. So I'm not quite oh. sure why he did that. Um, so I think it was probably just a mistake, but I think we should set up a new line. Code. We have, right? Yeah. We have, we have, so he also did activity under gas pump. Okay. So... Yeah. Is it supposed to be under gas pump? I, I we, we have an item line now for yeah. gas pump. Well, they just replaced the tank over there. Yeah, and we use the same gas the pump, pump on the new tank. The oh. gas but pump. But the slab is underneath the new. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it should I, be sent over to gas pump. No, I think what we should do is is create I'm a new a new uh, budget number for a, above ground storage tank. And we put, have one for maintenance, and then we have one for just our annual fees. Yeah, that was for the underground storage tank, which is now history. An above one. No, now we have an above one instead of an <laughs> underground one. But there's no fee for the above one. The underground. Well, the there, there, there are expenses. The cement pad was an expense for yeah, that. The, the, the wiring, which I think is what um, the pump part was to the... The wiring was to the, so that the pump would work. So that is probably where Greg put the expense. Right, because they would have to so actually yeah. move it and wire it. Right. Yeah. Um, so. Um, so you probably put down. So one that that is yeah, that 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 listing is probably okay, okay. Although we could, I mean, what I would like to do is to start having a line item for the above ground storage tank because they're eventually they're going to build a canopy over it and that'll be another expense. Probably not going to happen until the next. Summer at this point, but no, Ronnie says it's gonna warm up next week. So. Okay, all right, <laughs> I'm all into that. Um, so, like the underground storage tank, you know, we'll obviously have to keep it for a certain number of years, but right, nothing should really. go, nothing should go into that at all right. anymore. Yeah. So we are moving the slab to above ground. Yeah. Just a, a new budget code. AST. And this, we're this not way. removing anything of those electrical fees for the gas pump. Yeah, because technically it did go to the gas pump, so let's keep that yeah. there. I was going to suggest that it go to the above ground storage tank, but it makes sense. It was to, wiring the pump. It was wiring the pump, that's what that was for. Yeah. And, um, wiring yeah. the pump to the above ground tank. Yeah, yes. they had to hook so it. why don't you split it? They screwed it into the tank and then you had to physically wire it on there. Granny wouldn't like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> she made a funny face. <laughs> the Pardon? I know she wouldn't. Well, that, that was the thing is that I was just going to put everything toward the gas pump because it's now a gas pump and it's all included. Yeah, well, yeah. But you want it. it I can be, rename it, the gas pump above the ground yeah. fuel tank. Yeah, above or do you ground fuel tank. Because it's yeah, all the same unit. Mm -hmm. It is. It's all hooked together. Yeah. I mean, the yeah, underground sense. storage tank also had a pump. Right. Gas pump. <laughs> Which is gone now, so we don't have I to count for it anymore. And last year, they did have, another, another. last year they did have to buy a new motor for the gas pump. So that I think that's when we created the gas the pump. Gas pump. Line budget item. In our budget. It's not a gas pump. <laughs> <laughs> it's a diesel, a diesel pump. Diesel. It's a diesel pump. Fuel pump. It's fuel. fuel. That's right. So there you go. Fuel oh, pump. We are going to change that. Change that to fuel pump. Right. 
And we are going to do a journal entry and we are going to move the slab yep. expense to the fuel pump. <laughs> Fuel. Yeah, well, I mean, we could put it there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave it there. That's all right. right. All right. So we don't want to move on the fuel pump. Yeah, okay. just leave it under there. Got that. Okay. We're dividing hairs here. <laughs> but when we build the canopy, we'll put that under the fuel pump also, I guess. Yes. Okay. All right. Because okay. we're actually covering the fuel pump. And that, that, was, that was it. Oh, and I have not done yet, which it's not going to reflect it. Mm -hmm. um, the expense for the town hall roof. Um, I need to make a journal entry to move it out of um, town building maintenance, which is in your due to due from. Right. Mm -hmm. now, should we do a change order for that also? What do you mean? The for, board decision? Um, for um, the raising of the. Um, he did some foundation work, which is an extra expense, which he should be paid for, mm -hmm. but that wasn't in his original estimate. So technically, we should sure. have a change order. Yes, you should. Okay. So have him write it up and just send it to us. Yeah. We need to pay for those hours. Yep. That we know what paying for. That's all. That now, when you do a yes. uh, bid right. like that, don't they automatically get ten percent more or less? Well, you know, in the bigger bids, Big more niche. formal bids, there's like a contingency for any uh, unanticipated expenses. And it's not an automatic. They have to work into the contingency. That's why all we just typically what you do is submit the updated bill with the added yeah. hours and what you did. Yeah. And that's how you do Because it. Lizzie had that in her She had it in yeah. others, yeah. 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 But normally you wouldn't necessarily pay that contingency unless you actually used it. Yeah. So what they would do is they'd give you extra bills for the, mm -hmm. for the money, the, for that extra money. So the roof is done. I looked at it today, the roof part thing. It was in sheetrocking, I think. Yeah. Oh. That was pretty good. The sheetrock needs to be replaced, but he tore out all the old stuff. So he just has to go in and put in the new sheetrock and mud it this week. Mm -hmm. And he did want me to let people know that he's going to crank the heat up for the week because it okay. has to be a to certain dry heat it, yeah. to dry yep. it. Mm -hmm. so, and he'll just pop in after work, do a coat, and then come back the next day and do a coat. Yep. And so, okay. Be yeah, because I don't have anybody in there. Okay, perfect. So, so um, I, I tag. Do you have anything else that you would want to share with us? Mm, just that I'll be doing the money transfer. This one. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday. Okay. That's when I go broke. to. Yeah. yeah. There's still. Well, some, not broke. It's just. We got to still have money here. Yeah. <laughs> this fun will last it though. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so um, I think that's... You make someone else very so happy. So while, sure. while you're here, Brandy, I uh -huh. wanted us to just uh, talk about the town fuel um, RFP. Yes. So um, Brandy and I have been talking about it. Um, we usually do it this time of year, don't we? That's no, kind of my it's usually beforehand. Beforehand, that's what I thought. Because we've already, they've already filled up, and so they're just... So we've gone beyond the year that, that we... Yeah, okay. because well, last year we used all up what was our prepaid. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're just going on numbers that they are giving us for rates right now because okay. all of them needed to be filled. Um, but, you know, we, according to our purchasing policy, we should renew this every year. Uh, obviously, we are... And I should do it, like, in August. Okay, well, uh, let's, let's try to we'll keep that. I know. We'll try to remember that for the future. Um, so the price of fuel changed from last year to this year, up or down? Every I'm day sure we it has. Bid, yeah. Yeah, it every year we bought from bid yeah. for... So the, the, the RFP is for, in, in the past it's been for the off-road diesel for the town highway equipment, it's for the propane, and, and it's and for oil. the fuel yeah. oil, yeah. Um, uh -huh. uh, heating oil for the different buildings. Um, obviously now, um, the, this new RFP will not include the off-road diesel, because right. we have an agreement with Gillespie's um, for them providing the tank, but we still, um, we need, do need to send out an RFP, and, and Brandy is thinking rather than putting it out in the paper um, and paying for the advertising, yep. um, you know, there are certain people that have yep. always Call responded. That's so why I scanned, just I, yep. I tweaked the RFP. Oh, you did tweak it, okay. For um, eliminating the diesel, mm -hmm. adding this fiscal year's, mm -hmm. doing it from... Changing the dates from the yes. other one. Yep. And that they would be due on the 25th for you to open and make a decision okay. in two weeks the next on a Monday. Okay. Um, 
Good. So going back into my last year's, this last fiscal year's mm -hmm. fuel bids, and just bouncing those four people, yep. four companies, yep. um, the mm -hmm. RFP, and then going from there. Yep. Okay. So, okay that way it eliminates the advertising yes. and fee, and, yep. and, and we're still hitting, we're, we're still getting options, mm -hmm. but it just, the advertising. Just, yeah, just expense yeah. that yeah. just and the same people yeah, respond. Same people, so might as well just send it out to those yeah. people. Yeah. yeah, there's only so many right fuel yeah. dealers. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then the other um, last uh, time when you were able to be here, um, I had worked out some figures for this uh, Swenson reimbursement. Um, and again, we don't have to make a decision tonight, but I just um, and we wanted to go over those quickly. Um, tonight and yeah, tweak the uh, percentage. Yeah, so, um, and I know I said this last time, but we roughly get, I'm, I'm working on a figure of $28,000 a year that we get from. We'll be getting over that. It was yeah, a we will big be. jump what we just got for a, okay, all right. compared to the really right. calling. Yeah. yeah, but that won't change the percentages. I mean, it'll change the amount in the percentages, yeah. which is great. Right, um, but, but as far as the percentages. So at this point in time, 40% um, goes to the HERF fund. 35% goes to road salt, and then 25% goes to the paving fund. You know, we, we do have now have a pretty hefty amount of money, $46,000 in the paving fund. Um, right. So my thinking is is to start, uh, change the percentage in the HERF fund, either 50, 55, 60%, and um, keep the salt the same, because that expense is pretty much the same. Um, and then put less into the paving fund. We are going to next summer um, spend pretty close to what what is in the paving yeah, fund. Um, so um, my th my thinking is if we if we change the HERF fund to fifty five percent, we would be putting well based on the twenty eight thousand dollars a year, we'd be putting fifteen thousand four hundred dollars in, and then uh, knocking the paving fund down to ten percent which would be $2,800 a year. Um, and obviously that would go up a little bit more if we're getting. So we'd be putting roughly $3,000 a year still into yeah. the paving fund. Um, if we knew something was coming, we could yeah. alter it. When we had to re repave um, the, the part of Cabot Road that's paved, we were able to do that through a grant with VTrans, and uh, the town's match was about $20,000. So if we you know, if we were putting in three thousand dollars a year, it would take us seven years to get back up to um, the twenty thousand yeah. that we might need. And you know, if, if we saw the pavement was starting to deteriorate <laughs> quicker, then you know we could switch it around a little bit again. Because um, the only pavement we have now is Foster Cabot and right in front of the fire station, right? Yeah, yeah Town Hall Fire Station. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We basically we have like a little over half a mile of. Right, we're pavement. talking about maybe doing that little strip of valley yeah, there. We want to do the bottom. Oh, yeah. We want to do the bottom of Valley Road too to get rid of those potholes that are always there in the winter. So go up to the, as far as the school driveway. Yeah, yeah maybe just yeah. have an apron into the school driveway. And the whole around the fire station. Yep. Yeah, that whole, that whole thing. That whole yeah. thing, the whole yeah. town square and up the side. Right. Yeah. We had we had estimates for both of, for this year about of around twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, each. that was without the road. So. Yep. Oh, that was actually with the road. With the road, okay. With the road, yeah. it was. I didn't get a bids on the redo of it because we right. just ran out of time. But we had gotten bids, you know, thinking um, that we were going to pave more. Yeah, so we had added it to when we did the rest yeah. of the cabin yeah. road, so but the, that never happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And is that so. big cement block going to stay by the school entrance? Uh, Greg is looking for a nice big white quartz rock to go there. That's I'm trying to keep people from cutting that corner. People cut, cut the corner and then spin, you know, it oh, creates yeah. a lot of erosion and then <clears> the water doesn't channel the right way and it goes into the fire area. Next Part way. of this paving might involve adjustments yeah. to that driveway yeah. too. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I have some more. I uh, haven't seen it yet. I heard there's a big rock there. Yeah, there's, there's a, a rock. Yeah, there's and there's a lot. a lot of orange cones. It's just trying to get people to change their habits of cutting the corner. Oh, right. Yeah, and yeah, kind that of driveway the, keeps just kind of yeah. 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 And he's got a, a you know kind of a channel there to help catch the water and, and swing it around so that it won't go into the annex building and it just gets quickly filled in by people cutting the corner. Yeah. So so the, there'll be some kind of deterrent there, but yeah. right now it's a cement block. Um, now, do you want a motion to change this to a different? Do we do we want to do that tonight? I mean, we could. Um, if we're good uh, sure. Let's just do it. Move on. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, I would make a. And does it sound 
okay to, to change the hearth to 55% mm -hmm. and drop the paving down to 10? Yeah, for now. Yeah, okay. until we if it doesn't work, we'll have to adjust okay. it. We'll adjust so, it later, yeah. All right, so I, I would like to make a motion that we um, adjust the percentages of um, that are distributed from the Swenson uh, quarry reimbursement that we receive yearly to change it from the present 40% um, for the, uh, I won't say that. Well, I'll say what we're changing. In the so, <laughs> say what we're changing change, so we would change the HERF um, to 55% of the Swenson reimbursement. We would keep the salt, road salt the same at 35%, and we would change the, pay, the amount that goes into the paving fund to 10%. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah, that's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we definitely need more money in the HERF. The HERF right yeah, now. The more we can put in, the Bigger that builds our happy goal of the next truck we can just yeah. pay for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was all I had for to involve the town treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else that you would like to? She's got something she wants to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you have this herb that's not incorporated in the highway fund. And you have all this money that should be showing in the highway. Well, we have to figure that out. We have to figure out how that's going to work because we need to have that money. We need to have a, a fund for the heavy equipment. Right. And we set aside to buy you know, equipment. Whether, you know, if you want to talk to the people from um, NEMREC to figure out how we can account for that. I mean, it's an accounting thing. Um, and I, I don't know how to figure it out. I mean, we're, we're designating, um, you know, we have the $90,000 that we designate towards the highway equipment. And, a, you know, an amount of that goes to make the, the yearly payments. Um, They're already in, in the highway, and you're showing the expense. Right. And what I would like to be able to the do... The thing is saying then you budget every year, and it accrues. Right. Well, it, but what, it's an item line that, that stays in, within the highway, but if you go over budget in right. the highway, obviously it's going to cut into, it's not going to show under that item line that you right. took it from there, right. but it's still going to cut into Well, then my, you know, my thinking is, is that we are designating $90,000 a year towards the heavy equipment, highway equipment, and some of that money makes the yearly payments. Um, and then whatever is left over, I would love to be able to put into the HERF fund. So we would never spend more than that. But whatever the balance is after we make, right at the moment, three payments, um, I would like whatever is left over, the balance of that $90,000 to go into the HERF fund. How we can do that, I will, you know, I well, would... The fund's created, we just put money in it. No. Well, no, that's what Brandy's saying. We the don't fund. have a HERF? You well, have a HERF, but it doesn't show in the highway. Your highway expense, right. your revenue is the next year expense. Yeah, it's not an expense. Isn't showing it's this cushion savings. of money that you've got set aside. Right. It's a savings It should account. be in the highway. Right. Can we put the the highway fund, the her fund, into the highway budget? Well, what I mean, the uh, Hardwick's doing this, so they got to be able to do this. There's a way it's of still going to show in your due to do from the in the highway. You're going to have all this money still left over for the next fiscal year. Well, what I want. Again, like as I just said, the ninety thousand dollars that we're sort of designating towards heavy equipment, there are, from that ninety thousand dollars, the payments that we have for the two trucks and the bucket loader are taken from that, and then there's a balance left over. Um, and whatever that. Well, there is. <laughs> there is. Because it's, it's budgeted in your highway. Right. Well, I want to. I want to have it set up. So and like Paul well, said, what we need to make is a, make a transfer into that her fund. Transfer out and close the her fund. No, no you, you need the her. Fund. You need the her fund. That money isn't showing in the highway. No, no, I, I when understand that. When you have that. a report and you're stating the highway has, but this it'll money. show as a reserve fund, which the voters approved that fund. And it's already established and been that way. Correct. But that money. We need, we need to figure out how to do this. Other towns right. do it, right? And so there we has to be a way. It. And we've always done it. Our goal is to we be able to. We always do it. Well, it it's never it. shown as a highway. That's why the taxes well, are been, raised. It was in the past. Well, what, the way it was done now. in the past in, in the accounting was that the money went every year into the HERF fund, and then the payments for the came trucks out the came fund. out of it. Yeah, but and I understand where that. With the general, and the money was just. 
hula, well, but it's not. Then if the if the her fund was in the general accounting, then why can't it be in the highway budget? Now that we split them I up. can close the her. Do put an idle uh, item line but in the, the highway. The voters would have to close the her because the voters created the her. But then how do we reflect the money that we're saving towards equipment? It's going to be in the do to do from showing that you still have that money left. No, no, but my understanding is we can't carry monies over unless we have a reserve fund. That's my Even understanding in the, of in the, the general fund, if there's any cushion left over for the next fiscal year, it's, it shows in your due to do from your Where? cushion. Where? Where does it show? Those are the special price. So the no, I don't right think here? we're allowed to budget in a carryover unless it goes into a reserve fund, right. is what I'm saying. Right. We can't. So if I want to put $100,000 in the reserve to buy a truck in five years, Mm -hmm. For example, fifty thousand, whatever, twenty thousand. We can't budget a, a carryover. We have to have a fund to put it in. That's what I'm getting at. I don't think it's legal for us yeah, to budget. Yeah, if you just carry, carry it over, it'll disappear. So we can't say we're going to spend fifty, but we're going to budget a hundred, and we're just going to keep that money. In. I think that's illegal. That's what the HERF was created but for. But not showing in your highway expenses and revenues. It's not. It should show up as a. But Either it should just show up as a reserve fund with money in it. And we, it is. We make a transfer but from the uh, highway budget into that reserve fund. Right. And that's who, a legal way for us to carry it over. To, to figure this out. I mean, there's got to be... There's be somebody. There's got to be somebody. I've mm -hmm. done it hundreds of times, and I can ask them to come in. I would love to meet with them. Yeah, because I think we can... Mm -hmm. uh, it's our only way. I don't think it's legal for us to, to budget more money than we're going to spend and leave it in the general highway fund. I don't it's think not that's in the legal. general. It would be. It shows still in the highway well, that you're you have an above. It's not a negative number. Because for this fiscal year, we budgeted ninety thousand dollars towards the heavy equipment, the highway equipment. And it comes order. out of the highway. And we and we yeah and we've made payments and now there's money there's money left over. And that money there should and be that money I would like to, that to be fund. able to put somewhere so that we so that money is available towards paying for. Equipment in the that's future. the only legal way you can do it. You have to transfer it to a legally created reserve fund. Right. You can't just carry it over. Right. In my understanding, I could be wrong, but and this is her fund is a legally created fund. The, the town voters board. create those. Yeah. It is. It's just not showing as the highway of this is money that the highway has. Well, yeah, and it so that's the accounting issue. Fund. So we, <laughs> need to, right. we need to right. figure we'll out. Figure how it out. We'll help you. We, I'm not disagreeing that it needs to show somewhere. It's just the fund. We just can't carry money over in that fund without having a reserve fund. Like the money that comes from Swenson, that gets put, in, put into the HERF. Right, because we're going to have whatever that is. So yes, the what, money. It doesn't just sit as in the general now, highway. As of now, it does, yes. Yeah. But and it doesn't what, show as revenue in... in I don't, it's not revenue, it's a savings account. Right. It is revenue. It's, re <laughs> well, it's, revenue, no, no, it's, it's revenue the year we get it. So what happens is we get the money, we transfer it to that reserve fund. That's how we legally keep the money. But the expenses are coming out of the highway. I don't get right, the checks out right. of the highway. What I'm trying to say is that what should be happening in the future when we spend out of that account, you should be spending out of that reserve fund. And we have to make, I think for us, we have to say, because mm -hmm. the voters only authorize highway maintenance equipment to be paid is for. Is this something that we would, paid for. we would have to go at every town meeting, we would come up with the balance of that $90,000? You would have to show the balance in that account. Right. The voters have already said that you can spend this money for this purpose, mm -hmm. we can do that. Mm -hmm. If we say we want to take a hundred thousand out and buy whatever, mm -hmm. then the voters would have to mm -hmm. approve that because that money is set aside for a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. And you That's, don't have to you don't have to use the HERF fund to make the actual payments. You could actually you can transfer it separately it. for the payments and the HERF is only for you know twenty thousand dollars a year or whatever you think you can afford. Well, we're all trying to get to a goal where we won't be borrowing in the future right. to buy a town truck, for example, right. where we sure. can just, the, my anticipation and, and what Hardwick is doing, because I've talked to them, is they pay for that, not they out of do. the highway budget, they, they pay do. for it out of the reserve fund. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. no going to the bank or anything. And how that transfer happens, I don't know. There's got to be a way to, to set it up. But they're doing that. When they order a town truck, the select board just authorizes an expenditure out of the HERF, which pays for that equipment mm -hmm. and doesn't come out of general highway. How we do that, I don't know. And again, really we should try to figure this out. We'll figure it out. Because we're going to be putting I understand what you're saying. I'd like to have this figured out for when we start work on yep. the next fiscal year budget. We, which is next month. Which is next month. Well, the Hardwick town manager lives right here. We could just go down and right. see him and ask and him. And there is a, I, I went like. and talked with the business manager. Because I've gone and looked at their herf just to see what it looked like. I just, yep. as far as the nuts and bolts of how you transfer money, I don't know that. 
Right. Where do they have their herb setting though? Is it setting in their general fund or no. is it sitting in it's their outside. highway fund? It's out it's a separate it's, it's just like your either. it's just a savings account essentially. Mm -hmm. Just like you have a savings account separate from your checking account. If that's what it is, it's just money over there. Okay. And so you physically make a transfer. When you do the budget, the money comes in, you take the money you're gonna put in that savings, it goes in there. And then when you wanna spend out of it, you actually spend it out of that account, not out of your general. Yeah. How that works, I don't know as far as because you don't have a checkbook out of that account. That's what I'm saying. You may have to transfer. I don't know. Yeah, we gotta figure this out because we we need a way to do We that. can do it. I just the nuts and bolts is what we gotta figure out. I agree with you, it needs to show up as something. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't show up as nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, we're not we're not arguing that you're not right. It just so it's gotta be what, I'm, to do what it. I'm thinking is is that um, you know with this new budget, we'll, instead of we'll budget we budget the amounts of, for the payments of the equipment that we're paying for that we're doing the yearly payments for. Plus that's that's in the budget. In the, those are in the highway. Yeah, yes. and then you write those checks out of highway. And then you know having and the this. The way it was Cynthia presented it is you just create an item line for anticipated, and you. The budget's in there. And but that's my under. See, what it, the so only time I disagree with her was my understanding. We can't budget surpluses in the general. Well, we can't. We can't. I mean, of course you can. We do it in the library. Could, with with this particular amount, I don't know. With this particular thing, we could. It's, it wouldn't be um, a surplus because we would put it into the her fund before. No, that, but that's the thing. But, when you, that, but you actually transfer it into the herb. You, if you're going to leave it sitting in the herb, it's going to look like. We budgeted fifty well, thousand we, more than we needed. What we could I mean, I don't know if this it sounds logical to me, but in the world of accounting it might not be. If we right. so we know how much we're paying every year for the trucks. And if we have this ninety thousand dollar goal of putting money towards the heavy equipment, so we would budget, let's say, twenty five thousand dollars for the two trucks. So there's fifty thousand dollars and seven thousand dollars for the bucket loader. So there's fifty thousand fifty seven thousand dollars. The rest could be budgeted to go into the HER fund. It could be a line item in the it budget. It shows as a transfer from the highway fund. And then you would transfer that fund. amount into the HER fund Correct. every year. Right. That's actually more transparent because people can see what the truck then, payments are. And we could, and they can and we could see call what it our HER fund. I want to see we paid this much for this truck, this much for this truck, this much went into the HER fund. Does that sound like it would work? I mean, it's. So just sounds kind of head, yes. Before this whole <laughs> before the leasing started, everything was simpler. <laughs> yeah. Or well, my goal is get away from all this leasing eventually. I think we all share that goal, right. at least minimize it. But it's gonna take it's, it's gonna take us a little time to get there. No, it's not gonna happen overnight. Yeah. But that's the goal. Five years from now I hope we're in a different spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and the Swenson, you know, the, that fifty five percent, um, that gets deposited into the hurricane. So it doesn't show up in the, um, the well, revenue. Financially, it should show coming in, yeah. and then it should show being transferred into the HERF. That's what it should look like. No, it hits our checking, and then mm -hmm. it credits HERF paid. That's what I'm saying. It's going to show us an, a payout into the HERF, mm -hmm. right? So However you will call it. Let's just try to we'll figure it We'll fix it. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I will work with everybody on this, figuring yeah. this out. Yeah, I know. Because it's been a puzzle for a while now. Um, I don't know if... Do you have an accounting? Does NEMREC have any oh, kind yeah. of? yeah. Okay. So we could ask them. We could check with um, Hardwick. Um, there's the business I've manager. I've looked at the, theirs. I wonder if it's yeah. sure Sean will, look, yeah. will let me mm -hmm. we could explain in, to me how it works. Because I'm not an accountant. Ask him to come mm -hmm. in. We could have them come That's to the right next select here. board meeting. We have, this, we have the current town manager and the past town manager, both the only town. land in yes, the area. Uh -huh. so. um, I mean, he might suggest that we have the business manager come instead, but um, he should know how yeah. to do it. Um, we could. We'll we fix him. it when I do our. We'll have okay. something fixed figured out that yeah. hopefully we all understand. Are we setting up a time for next month? We should. For just budgeting. Please. For next, yes, for yeah. December, yeah. December. That's and we'll probably have a session where we just work on the budget. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Would, we could set it up now if you want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. To do okay. Um, Tomorrow, uh, the thirteenth, we're doing. So it always seems to be best to do it towards the end of the month, as opposed right, to because it's estimated things that change six months, yeah. halfway through the year. Um, mm -hmm. So of course there's. Christmas smack dab in the middle of the yeah, last week. Yeah, on the Wednesday. Mm -hmm. and the New um, Year's is the first. 
And then that, and then don't forget that uh, about halfway through January, we're going to have to be sending things. You have to turn finalizing it. Finalizing things yeah, for the, the time. Report. I would think we'd want to be starting to work on this budget the first or second week in December. Okay. I would think so too. All right. I mean, we can try to do it, some of it at the regular select board yep. meeting, but my experience is we don't get much done. No, no, no there's too much other stuff to so do. So either the 12th or the 19th are hitting them both. Okay. Um, do we want to do Thursdays? It Thursdays? Thursdays can work for me. Yeah, the 19th is a conservation commission meeting. Okay. Um, they usually meet here, but um, we could let them know. I mean, I don't have to be mm. at the conservation commission meeting, so this is more important. But we could let them know that we would like to have this space, and um, and maybe they could meet at the library or something. So like you're that. saying the 12th and the 12th and the. It, what time it, would we start? Uh, six. Okay. My experience is it takes more than one. Yeah, because oh, yeah. okay. your brain gets numb after a while, so right. you just give up. Mm. And usually, the town clerk and the town treasurer work on the the uh, general budget, and um, Greg yeah. and I will go over the highway budget first. So we have beforehand. numbers to work with, so yeah, we can so get actuals. Yeah. Okay. So we're, yeah. So we're, mm. yeah. Um, okay. Right. I've got it in my calendar. Okay, I'm going to write it down here. You need one. Yeah. <laughs> we okay. have to have a phone. We need like iPhones, that. guys. Come on. <laughs> Maybe the town will buy it. They'll even play line. music for me a half hour before I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> I think I'm done. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let me stress you out. Right. So, how, so are you? The least do you want to talk with the, the person from Nimrick about this? How to how to get this her fund accounted for? Um, and we yeah, could try to talk with her. Drilled Hart. into my head by them that. I'll I'll I'll, I'll go see Sean. So. Okay, because I was to be one that looked in the at highway. the okay. numbers from the It town. needs to show revenue and expenses in mm -hmm. the highway. Yeah. The money well, needs we to need, show we, there, so, we need to figure this out. I don't, does Hardwick deal with Nemrec? <laughs> is there a accounting system in I don't think it is. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. The accounting principles will be the same. Yeah. Well, this seems yeah, to have become an issue with our different. change to Nemrec. Yeah. It's not even that. It's that we, for the longest time, shared the highway in the government, and it never should have been. It never should have been. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And what about so, the person from VLCT that does the yearly audit? I wonder, would they be able to help us with this? They puzzle? have specific, like Vicki Abair does yeah. just payroll. Yeah. And so, um, because, but, you know, there are other town clerks around. Like we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The treasurer in, yeah. in Calus is, does NEMREC. And yeah. We so, do we want to try to have this figured out? We should probably try to have this figured out by our select board meeting. Yep. I'll, I'll work good. on it. Okay. You work on it, I'll work on it. And then we'll be all ready for the budget meetings. There's got to be I a even way. put a note down for myself. <laughs> 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 Let me know if you need backup, Brandon. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you we got to arm wrestle if whoever wins. You can add to your. And I'm already injured, so you might actually. Win. <laughs> you can add to your list for budgeting how to show. Why can't we manage to show the Swenson payments as income? Right. As That's revenue. It should be as revenue. It should be. And some of it, it gets revenue. transferred. It show as revenue. Some of it gets transferred just into the All paper right. salt. Some of it gets transferred into the paving fund. And you're putting oh, where some is it being transferred from? Right. It's from, from yeah. revenue. Right, right. Exactly. It goes into our checking and then it credits. We just don't right. create. Budgets for the paving yep. fund. Right. Or the HER fund. Or the HER fund. Right. Yeah. And if we did, then they would show the revenue. Mm -hmm. But we don't make we don't do budgets, but mm -hmm. it shows if I print out a report for a revenue for those it funds. Seems like it, yeah. We've done this at the fire. We've got every one of those reserves has a name and a mm -hmm. transfer. That's how we had to deal so, with it. Yeah, whether you know, so if we can't really show it in the budget, then we should show it in the town report as money that's and been that's, received. I, and that have it created. Okay. Perfect. So there will be a page. I don't understand why like that. Show us right now. Well, <laughs> as long as it shows somewhere right. as revenue, so that the, it's. You show it as revenue, that makes for a lower tax burden that you have to collect. Well, I mean, it's it. I can understand why it's not shown as the year in the yearly budget as revenue because it's put into a fund that you might not spend that year. No, that we don't we don't create expenses at the paving until we know. Right about until them. we spend the money. So I can understand that. But you that do makes put, put money into the paving fund just like you put money into yes, the but, fund. Yes, but it's not part of the it's from. not part of the annual budget. 
as revenue because it's not used as part of the annual budget. It's only used. But it, but it goes back to that same idea. If we're going to leave money set aside for a purpose, it should be in its own savings account, right. which there's a transfer, which then you would show it as income and then transfer it out yeah. to that mm -hmm. savings. And there needs to be, I agree with you, Diana, that there does need to be some kind of paper notice that's in part of the town report so that people know that where a certain amount of money going. of the Swenson reimbursement went into the HER fund or the paving fund. We have 15 accounts. You guys are going to be busy creating budgets for all. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have computers. These guys are going to get iPhones. That's what we need. I have a computer. But we'll get him an yeah. iPhone. I'll even help you pay for it. Yeah. You get Brian, you anyway, to be it? okay. okay. It work. <laughs> you better move on or we'll be here till midnight. I, I go on the ambulance at 9 o'clock. So. Yeah. so um, so let's uh, let's put off the town office computer security for now. Oh. Unless you really want to talk about it. I have nothing to say. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, I'll just briefly mention that there have been some things that have happened um, in, for other towns that are kind of alarming. With their money got stolen there. Yeah, and um, you know the, the Secretary of State has had, I, there was a noon hour show on public radio talking about uh, cybersecurity and the LCT has also been putting out um, um, different statements about it. So it's I think it's something that we should definitely look at soon. Um, but Getting a security program? No, just seeing no? seeing what we have for security if it's adequate and if we if it isn't, what can we can do to change that? I heard that the uh, one of the auditors told me that about. he's working about um, he's working on a best practices policy for. Our Cyber security, Skip told me. That's uh, yeah. Just okay. Tell me what you need me to do. So. Okay. Yeah, Skip, <laughs> Skip would be. Yeah, Skip. That's, the one that's, way, yeah. that's way outside of my lane. <laughs> really? Yeah. All okay. I do is, you know, a little word processing and email and stuff. I'm not too yeah. worried about it getting stolen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, I, I'm kind of worried. I know that we have a pretty old Microsoft. Is that wood fired? No, it's not old, <laughs> that old. But, um, we're not on Windows. We're not on Windows 10 yet. Right. So, and you know, I know when I switched over to Windows 10, one of the things that I was prodded to do that with was that at a certain point in time, we'll no longer service or you know, mm -hmm. blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, does that make us vulnerable? Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, just I think we it would be really good mm -hmm. to look at what we have, um, and. If, if Skip is working on this, I can't think of anything any better, better to Skip do. Mark Marcassani is the one who, when he set up our computers, Mr. Computer. Did, there's yeah. um, some kind of protection software on there. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what the name of it. Yeah. No, and I just, you know, how, how long ago was that? And mm -hmm. um, So I did contact him last week. Skip, Skip Marcassani. He yeah. will be coming in to do the update on mine. Okay. Um, because it's required for my check scanner. It will not mm -hmm. work unless I have the Got upgrade it. to 10. Okay. Um, he yeah. found it online where I still can get it free. You mm -hmm. see a big jump in stuff on 10. You'll have to learn everything um, over. I did. Well, I, I did. So mm -hmm. I, when we switched to 10. He still wants to yeah, do a takeaway backup. You probably more computers than I do. All the budget is just different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned what I have to do, and that's all I want to do. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> so Skip's going to do that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. And he still yeah. wants to do a backup drive? Mm -hmm. Because... So. My accounting's on the cloud, and it's backed uh -huh. up in three physical different locations. Mm -hmm. But the stuff we do in-house is not on backup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not on a takeaway drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then we'll see what Skip Lindsay comes up with for yeah. suggestions. Okay. Sounds I good. I do want a new okay. coffee machine. Yes, that's yeah. true. Get some pricing. Yeah, I guess we're gonna get, get some pricing. Yeah. My rule 101, you want something, bring, bring what it costs. Well, yeah, but the, yeah. If it's needed, it's needed. The, uh, the uh, purchasing policy says that we have to go to bid on over okay. $8,000, but I don't think it will be anywhere near that. And between 1000 and $8,000, we basically but just But you guys know better what you shop need, around, so shop yeah. around what you need right. to bring us the bill, yeah. or what you propose. At least, I think we have... That's my view on some of these, something yeah. like that. You guys use it, so tell us what you need. Yeah, exactly. Right. Bring us this thing. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, anything else for the town clerk report? Mm, I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up. Can you get the snow oh, stopped? But, yeah, Craig is trying to keep up. Hmm? Can okay. you get the snow stopped? Sorry. Till Christmas Eve. <laughs> That'd be nice. So, nothing else for town clerk? 
for it. What about our favorite subject? Our second favorite subject. Ask your question. <laughs> ask your question. Which one? The did one you did ask sign me. Yeah. Uh, did he sign yet? Yeah. <laughs> yes. He did? Yes. Oh! I asked earlier. I, I was hoping, right? <laughs> Come on. I, I, told, I told Brian something different, but I didn't know the answer. I didn't know the answer, so I'm very happy. Thank you for yeah, staying that, on that. That happened yesterday. Great. I had a nice visit. So now they're going to start. It's really, because there's a little curve thing. There's one, uh, one of these, uh, <laughs> you sign one of these, Michael. What's that? that? <laughs> I, need a I don't know why you have to sign this, but it's just them saying that they haven't received any other flood reimbursement from anybody. Okay, so I'm the community agent. Right. Okay. So is there a chance yeah. it's going to get tore down this fall? Oh, you got to have another question. You yeah, I got I got a new question now. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping they're going to rip. So anyway, our plan um, we have been successful in cornering an attorney who is willing to do a closing next Saturday the 16th. This coming Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Wendell Rhodes. Um, <coughs> He was the first one I asked to represent us in this process five years ago, and he said no thank, you. no thank you. He recommended Sarah Field, who we went with, but she's had her personal difficulties lately with her husband dying suddenly, and she got a little behind. So um, I asked Wendell if he would be willing to um, step in and help her and us, and he said 99% sure that he would, and then mm -hmm. last week he was going to San Francisco and he was coming back today. So I'll be getting together with him um, during the next few days mm -hmm. and seeing what he needs to have. Sarah has already um, drafted the deed mm -hmm. and the uh, a bunch of uh, restrictions that FEMA requires mm -hmm. that mostly have to do with us and what we can and can't do with the property afterwards. Mm -hmm. Right. And I've been keeping um, the contractors apprised of our timeline. Mm -hmm. And uh, as of last week, uh, Blue Mountain said they were still, you know, ready, ready to go. go. So it can start after the closing happens. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And there's the no the way they can hours. change their mind between well, now seven, and have, Saturday since seven, they've signed that lovely paper. You have 72 paper. hours after you sign the paperwork, <laughs> they can still change their mind. Oh, really? Any contract is 72 oh, really? hours. Yep. 72 hours after. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I yeah. think they can. Yeah, that's why anyway, it's, always, it's always that three-day wait. I explained yeah. to uh, Kirk that we signed the two years ago, we signed a purchase and sale agreement. I don't think either of you were here. No. Um, offered to pay what they were asking, $56,000, and mm -hmm. the town offered to pay whatever outstanding taxes, which were, you know, continuing to build, not a lot, it's only like $500 a year, but anyways, um, then we get, so we did our own purchase and sale agreement, and come to find out FEMA has another one, which they want to, uh, which is the one that just the got signed, got signed. Yeah. called the Voluntary Transaction Agreement, and in that, they want to pay... Fifty-seven five, but they also want the taxes to be paid by the seller. Mm -hmm. So that works out to um, we pay them the fifty-six. I figure that we'll write another check for the fifteen hundred, which will show FEMA that we did pay them the fifty-seven five, and they can turn around and give that back sign that back over to the town, which will only leave about $400, more or less, to abate at some mm -hmm. point. And this is, this FEMA will end up paying 75% of the back taxes, so that's, right. that's pretty cool. And again, I think before either of you were on the board, the board pretty much agreed to abate the taxes point, mm -hmm. that weren't mm -hmm. paid at the time. Yeah, so. we did. So we've yeah. kind of move on. <laughs> this has been hap This has already been done before, but just to make sure, I would like to have you <coughs> make a motion to appoint Michael as the authorized representative to sign for everything. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> you couldn't make the motion yourself. So. No, I couldn't. <laughs> So who actually made the motion? I did. Paul, Paul made yeah. the motion. Right. What she said. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll appoint Michael as the authorized representative to sign the document. And I, I shouldn't have said all in favor, but I did. That's okay. Yeah, I, mean, sure. I think that's okay. You still have to do that. So, okay. And no you vote. You can you vote to, well, you kind of nodded in agreement to accept $1,500 at this point and uh, deal with the rest of it later. So, sometime later this week, We'll find out from the attorney whether he wants them all the money to go through his trust account, in which Brandy will write a check for the whole amount. Uh, they have still the $5,000 deposit that we made two years ago that Richard LaCour has had, and he transferred it over to Sarah Field when he closed mm -hmm. his practice. And so somewhere it's somewhere. bouncing around, it'll come back. So Skip's working on and a little amendment to the contract because after FEMA pulled the plug on the stream alter of uh, the stream restoration mm -hmm. part of it, we mm -hmm. had to get some more money to restore the site. Mm -hmm. So it's a couple of uh, you know, this one, one with an extra estimate for filling in those holes and another one for putting topsoil and on the, the site. Stabilizing the bank, yeah. So and so I'm sure there's stuff in there that's got to come out anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Less less than ten yards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I thought because you're so generous tonight, uh, you should give me extra money for all the work that I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> to change. <laughs> And I haven't had time to, I don't have time to keep track of my time, but still. Okay. I'll come up with an estimate for you. Good. I mean, I started doing it all as, a, all as a volunteer, but it kind of got a little out of hand. Yes, it does. That's the way it works. You ought to be fire chief. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little out of hand. <laughs> so, this is good. Michael's not going to go hunting. Saturday morning and no, so it's going to be zero, so nobody. And Brandy's wants to go not going to go hunting Saturday morning. Well, you're going to need electric. <laughs> pants. You're going to need electric pants. To go out oh, do you really? You just keep moving. No. I guess so. They'll be crunchy, crunchy. Mm -hmm. cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's supposed to. Well, this show's like one. <laughs> oh, sweet. No, really. Yeah. yeah. So oh, uh, Thursday Wednesday. morning they're oh, wow. showing one. Oh, wow. It's going to be zero. It'll be below yeah. zero. Mm -hmm. You don't sit very long. Time of year for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll be like driving around my truck with the window down this far. So you let me know what time I should yeah. be here. Okay. Yeah, I, I expect it'll be ten or ten or eleven. Okay. Kirk said it Whatever takes it takes him about two hours to get here from where he lives, and mm -hmm. I'm sure he's an early riser okay. kind of person. Okay. So he gets it done. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll be able to have the closing here. Yeah. Okay. Close so Wendell can come up and close his key. Close the book. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. You're done with it. Yeah. It's over. Well, it's not yet. It's still work breath until Sunday. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll finally, hopefully, yeah. Everything else yeah. is anticlimactic. Pain will right. stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I should yeah. definitely get more money for that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So thank you. Uh -huh. All right. So um, the emergency generator. Um, Paul met with a electrical um, inspector and. It does seem that we need to do what the uh, natural services... Uh, he basically said it was not legal today, so if they touch it, yeah. we have to fix it. If we yeah. leave it, I had a conversation with Larry today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, happened to run into him when I was okay, working in that trailer. He thinks we just need to do it. I agree I with him. Agree. He's I talked to me too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, it just is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is, yeah. So, um, and done. Yeah. so I'm going to make a motion that we... Um, contract with Brookfield Services to uh, put in place the automatic transfer switch for the emergency generator for the price of uh, estimated price of six thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars and and that will come from this the, the uh, school fund the school fund I'll second that all in favor aye okay good we're done with that perfect that was an easy one okay so um Mount Tamers use of town roads I did create a little bit of a stir with this agenda item um but basically, this is a yearly thing that we do. Um, where it's they, the same roads they've same, always... It's the same roads that we've always approved. Um, somebody th thought and called me the thought that we were going to open up all the time. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> so that's not yeah. true. Um, so these are the same roads. Nothing has changed. Um, 
We do this, we didn't do it last year for some reason, but we have done this pretty much every they year. They must not have brought it to us They last probably year. didn't bring it. Yeah, they didn't bring it. For yeah. 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 So, um, and here's the list of the roads. So, um, so you need a second? Uh, so I wouldn't, um, let's see. It looks good to me. Yeah. Can you, uh, did you get this email today? From, um, yes, Mark and I spoke, I spoke with him also. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted, uh, Mark and Joyce Majors in West Woodbury wanted you guys to be aware of the fact that years ago, snowmobile use on West Woodbury Road became a problem. So a lot of them got together and created a really nice trail. Right, drive around, from, yeah. Yeah, yep. and he people was, don't use it. They still use the road yeah. and they go fast. And he was reacting to the, the way I had listened right. to it. Because that road's not on the list. Yeah. So if they're right, on that, I told them I really, they, I, they were reacting to the fact that it was on the menu, on the menu, on the, the agenda. Menu. Yeah, yeah, see, so, I, I, okay. I just said use of town roads, and he, yeah. they assumed that that meant we were going to open up all right, the town exactly. And that's a state so, police problem. But I told them that, and I sent them a copy of that, and they still wanted you well, to know. I spoke to him on the phone. Okay. About so we're good. Okay. So he, and he's, he's okay. Uh -huh. They're both so okay. Because they we're not they, opening the West Woodbury. We're not opening. Yeah. No, nothing's going to change up there. We're just going to be opening and most of these roads are they're just sections of roads they allow right, little bits they, they allow residents to use mm -hmm. the town road to get to a trail um, yeah. it's, it's we've been doing this ever since i've been on the site so you guys board. haven't yeah. had you haven't seen this so I'll just okay i'll have it yeah. of your email so yeah. he didn't say I, anything i did about see the room. email so yeah. no, okay yeah the concern okay yeah. Yeah. And I, I spoke with him and he was fine um, he was so he they're was a, fine with that there's not a problem. We aren't going to be opening up. Nothing's going to change at West Woodbury. I, I know. So right. I really assured him. I assured him that. Well, yeah. we, that's a state police <laughs> issue. We'd have to have the state police right. deal with people riding on the town road. Right. And they don't even come for speeders. So, yeah. so they, have trails and, and they were they, they were fine the with the you know the way it has been. It, it's not nothing is going to change in West Woodbury. We're, the, yep. the mountain tamers have given us. Every year, the list of sections of road yeah, that they'll yeah, use. Yeah. Well, Mark and Joyce have a different opinion, I guess. Well, I think he <laughs> didn't express that to me. Well, the again, again, there's nothing. We're not opening it up. Right. Yeah. It's an enforcement issue. We yeah, don't enforce the laws. The state does it. Yeah. They're on a highway yeah. that doesn't have a permit to do it. So, yeah. And when I explained this to him, he police. didn't have any issues that he Good. shared with me. So, um, so, I would make a motion that we renew the. Um, an agreement with the um, mountain tamers that we've had yearly for use of town class three and class four roads for town residents to access different snowmobile trails. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. And I spoke with uh, Stephen today too, and he, you know, said that nothing has changed. So just to make sure of that. Um, all right. Let's move on. So the Vermont oh, Land Trust letter of support. Um, I think I gave you guys. Yeah, I read through this. Okay. So this is um, this letter of support was originally written in 2014 for the Worcester Woods Forest Legacy um, Initiative. It was a large federal grant um, that uh, basically incorporated all of the land that you see yep. um, color coded on on yours. Um, it was one large um, grant. And this was a federal grant that the Vermont Land Trust was organizing, um, and EB, the EB High parcels in Woodbury were a part of that um, grant. And 12, 12 um, initiatives were granted. Um, this one was 13th on the list, so they didn't get the grant that year. And what they've been doing uh, piecemeal since then um, is uh, doing uh, Conserving um, land, um, and if you, with a, if you could follow the color code, mm -hmm. then you can see where different years, different things have been conserved. This would be just for the um, where it says WW three subject parcel around Nichols Pond, around Nichols Pond, over to Buck Lake, um, um, and this is all owned by EB Hyde. So, so this would be transferring. W3. The would, ownership from EB Hyde to no, the land trust. The ownership would not be okay. transferred. There would be right. a conservation easement. Okay. Okay. So, so they still. Okay. Yeah. So my nothing was. It doesn't take it off the tax rolls. No, it doesn't take it off the court okay. tax rolls. Um, and Hyde wants to do that, so. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And EB Hyde would like to do that. Probably get more tax breaks that way too. Well, no, no, there won't be any difference in the taxes. It's just it's a conservation issue, uh, easement, wow. so that um, 
There won't be a uh, Walmart shopping center in the <laughs> I don't think we're going to be here, so it'll be Dollar so. General up in there. I'm trying to get the dollar. I was going to yeah. screw the Dollar General sign to the side of our house down there. Just this is all Myers. Myers but, but, it, yeah, it's all Myers. Yeah. Yeah. I almost got the one in Johnson, but they had just gotten rid of it the day it's I arrived. Somewhere, okay, so I have So, um, so I kind of took the the forward motion to assume that you guys might approve it and we can change it if you don't but it's, it's basically a letter of support for this initiative that Vermont Land Trust is uh, going so, to be yeah, To me, I'm not a big fan of the Land Trust buying the land. They are, they if, won't if, if the owner wants the conservation easement, the current owner, I'm okay with that. E.D. Hyde would not sell the land to Vermont okay. Land Trust. You could, yeah. um, just so you know where I stand in that department. Yeah. John, keep John Meyer land, would one definitely the tax. Yeah. Uh, approve that. So this is basically just a conservation easement. They will continue to uh, harvest and log it as they always it's have. It's their land. If they yeah. want to put an easement yeah. on it, it's up to them. It's just, um, and as, I suppose at some point in the future, they may sell the land to someone else, but the conservation easement would be right. part of the... Oh, really? I would yeah. go with it. Yeah. And, and, they, and that's, they could get rid of it someday if they wanted to, right. I'm sure. So, yeah. so. Which I have no problem with that. And I think with this initiative, EB High does get some type of compensation for the conservation easement. That's that's part Probably, of this. Probably, yeah, I'm sure. So, um, do, so are, is everybody okay with signing this letter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'll make a motion that we sign the letter of support for the um, Worcester Woods Three uh, FLP. I'm not quite sure what that means. Initiative. Um, that the, uh, with the Vermont Land Trust um, for the E.B. Hyde land um, designated on the map that, we, that Vermont Land Trust provided for us. Okay, is there a second? Should I kind okay. of... Oh, yeah. Kind of, <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay, so um, Laura, Laura has provided us a nice copy on town letterhead, so sign it and then... Um, I'll probably scan this and send it to the Montland Trust. Yeah, it's a lot of Now that I can do that. Mm. Yep. All the way around Nichols now, right? Looks like it, yeah. Yep. Nichols yeah, that the parcel that's in is it orange it's on your map? Yep. yep. That or the yellow, the yellow orange. That um the This the, one here? Yeah. The other part has already been conserved. The red. Yeah, that was conserved last year. Yeah. yeah this part here. Yeah. yeah. Is that butch right up against me? Yep. Yeah, and again, I, I, this is the private property owner doing what they want to do on it, and I'm yeah. all in favor of that. Yeah. So. yeah, I was a little surprised they didn't buy that piece of land that we got up by our house. Yeah, on Cabot Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where Dan's going to build? Mm -hmm. Is it that little square? How much land is there? <laughs> He's building. Him and Stacy are going to end up with seven and a half okay. acres, but it was a total of 36 that you got up there. Six yep. acres. So, which was separate so right, from all the hide land. Correct. Okay. Yep. Somehow I thought that was all EB hide land, and then I see you start building. Oh, it must be it's not. Yeah. No, it was Mr. Winters from <coughs> Ohio. <coughs> and he used to have a glass house in there. Really? Okay. Yep. Okay. So the from town. the 60s, I bet. Late 60s, that. early there 70s, go, huh? yeah. So the town yeah. highway report. Got it. We're getting there. We're, we're burning we're the we're candle at both ends. ends. So these are mostly just updates. Obviously, you know, we just um, when Ron was here, we kind of talked about the Buck Lake Brook kind of road, and um, we'll we be, took care of that because we'll that was a concern he had shared with me. Yeah. And I went over and talked to him. So. Yeah. So technically, the work is done, but there are questions about yeah. the work that was done, and we'll be addressing those. The underground storage tank, above ground storage tank, everything is done on that. Um, the Valley Lake Road Fire Department Annex update. I um, spoke with, um, I just have some updates about these different um, okay. grants and erosion things, um, and then kind of a strategy that, um, so I talked with the person from the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, and the two sites that we have um, been discussing, the um, school parking lot, the kind of wetland area to collect the um, runoff from that, and then the catch basin behind the annex building, those two, we have received grants for the full design for those. But the holdup is the Department of Environmental Con Conservation by this. Uh, coming up with the contract. And it's been a long wait. 
and they're still waiting. Um, the other two sites, the Regional Planning Commission has been working um, to, um, and I have been consulting with them for a block grant that would pay for um, the other two of the four sites in the village that were designated with the Woodbury Stormwater Master Plan that we had done, the spot, the catch basin between the fire station and the post office, and then another cut um, catch basin um, on Church Street that would catch runoff from Church Street, but also from the lower part of Cabot Road that runs into those um, good drains and then goes under the highway into the, the Kingsbury Branch. Um, they're working on a block grant. Um, to pay for the full design of those, um, which there would be no town match for that. That would be kind of a, a freebie, sort of. Um, <laughs> and then, so what I'm, my thinking is, um, and I talked to the person from the Regional Planning Commission about this, is that um, the Better Roads uh, grant applications are out. They're due um, December 13th. That we would have, um, and I want to have Alan May um, come and um, we would work together a plan for the erosion on the lower part of Valley Lake Road um, so that the road work could be done. And this isn't a design, this is just doing the actual work yeah, that this grant was before. So, all of the road work that's dealing with all of those various um, components of that situation. Um, that would be in the grant, that would be the plan. Um, and the fact that we've done th this other work, because we, we tried to do this once before, um, Skip, Lindsay, and, and then, I. It didn't work out. Yeah. We, and we, it was last minute, we did it real quick. Um, we didn't get it. Um, it's been a few years since we've uh, received the Better Roads grant. And now, um, all the Better Roads grants are erosion related at Correct. this point in time. Which we have huge erosion. Yeah, so um, the fact that we've done the stormwater master plan that we're, we have um, grants in the works for designs for addressing some of that. Um, I think that'll be a feather in our cap. Uh, so that's the plan to to apply for a better roads grant to next summer actually do the ditching culvert work, any of the erosion work that's happening, so that when the because we're gonna because that paving piece will probably happen in early May or June if we're gonna. Well, because that's the problem with waiting too long is we yeah. can't get in the paving schedule. Well, unless we could could get in the paving schedule, but have the schedule be for okay. later in the summer. If I'll we have can, to work on that because I was told for such a small project we want to get that out to bid in March. Well, we we can get it out to bid, okay. and, and if we have a date later in the summer that we request, um, I think that as long okay. as we get get on their schedule. Because I, be again, I, we haven't worked we, I got some ideas on how to right. solve some of those problems. We just got to do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, we definitely don't want to wait till August to, no, try, we're to not. try to get it scheduled. So if we, if we can get it scheduled for later in the summer so that, because I, I, I believe that these Better Road grants, they don't really make a, a decision until like April, March, April. Okay. Uh, but I'll find out. Because I, I will get the, I'm going to have the bid proposal ready yeah. by yeah. So we can go out to bid in March. And, March. you know, part of this, if we don't get the grant, I think we just do We're just going to do it, yeah. Because I've got some ideas on how to fix some of it. We just okay. have to go over and do yeah. it. Yeah. So Cut it down, I think. Rearrange the end of that driveway mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's, okay, that's, that's the driveway. <clears throat> yeah. That's the plan for I the, can walk some people through and show you what I think we need to do. For the annex. Um, <laughs> it would get that water controlled and away from the road. Or Can I interrupt before you move on? Or to I just wanted to say we will need uh, to have you guys come in and sign a warrant for those checks when we decide. When would they be available? Yeah. After Saturday sometime? Are you like before Monday? Saturday. Before Saturday. Yeah. So it'll be. Oh for Friday maybe. Right. For the closing. Okay. Before the closing. So. Okay. Right. So we Town just, office, if you want to just call me, let me know. And yeah. When will they be ready? That's what I'm trying to get That's you. We don't, we don't know okay. yet. Okay. So can you shoot an email just so I don't forget to do it? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, Friday's my on call I start, so okay. who knows, all hell could break loose. Okay. Well, if two of us have signed it, okay. we'll, we'll okay. Okay. So, um, Old Quarry Road, Spur Hearing and Survey, I have not um, listened to the uh, recording to uh, fine-tune the uh, minutes yet. But I have quite a bit of time free this week, um, which I haven't had the last couple of weeks. So I, that's Don't on my that. it's on just, my agenda. Just, you just <laughs> killed it. Yeah. And um, I haven't heard anything about the survey yet. But, um, yeah. So heard nothing when is our sixty days up? Uh, we're halfway there now. Right, so we that's need right. to make sure we yeah. get that. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, and the survey doesn't have to be done for the report that okay. the lawyers will write, but yeah. fine tuning the minutes does have to be done. So, um, and then let's see for the road crew, there really isn't a whole lot to say. Um, the roads definitely did get hammered with that Halloween storm. Um, they're a lot rougher than they were before. Um, there were a couple sinkholes on um, Cranberry Meadow Road. Um, one of them showed up this weekend. I don't know if with the road crew not working today if, um, if they got to it or not. But um, they ever dumped any dirt in that pothole just beyond your place? They haven't done anything with that yet either. You would think that they should drop something. They, you know, it's something. kind of like. Uh, you know, across from your house, they drop stuff in and it washes out. So it's a big <coughs> stone. Yeah, yeah. It's the time of year though where, yeah. I said it's washed into the road, you know, a foot or so. It just they yeah. haven't and, dropped and down into my, my where my down spring into, is. Yeah, down where your spring is. Yeah. Um, and it did it did increase quite a bit after that rain. So that's a problem that they haven't addressed yet. That um, so it's going to get worse. Yeah. It's going to get worse. Stone worse. or whatever over there. Yeah. But yeah. 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 I don't think Greg Parkhurst is aware of the. He's out of town right now. He's out of town, so tell you go yeah. see Grizz and say, Grizz, yeah. get me a load of stone over Grizz, here. Grizz, I have mentioned yeah. it to him. Yeah. So. And then the top of the hill that is washed out there in front of my place, there was. Yeah. yeah so yeah, some throw there. something in it for yeah. the winter. And so basically they're kind of in winter mode. They've been yeah. applying and um, they'll be out tomorrow morning. Um, so there isn't much yeah, else. Yeah, he's coming in. I see him today. He stopped in. Said he'd be out at like four tomorrow. Yeah, morning. I don't know if he. I didn't see him do that, but I assume that he did. Yeah, he was going to uh, plow the paved parts and salt them. Um, yeah, um, he must have because they were bare. Okay, all right. So he did do that. Yeah. yeah. He said he he talked to me this morning too. And, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for the. So just to, because every now and then we're getting calls and the road is slippery mm -hmm. and they're not out, is that something I should just, how do you want to handle that? Because that caused some crabbiness. Uh, it's a tough, it's, it is a tough thing though, right. because I just you know, to maybe you <coughs> formally after they've gone home for the day, right. or on well, a Friday they've last, gone home for the Because it already started the other day, yeah. I was like, right. uh, Well, last week, last yeah. week, um, you know, um, Brian and Judy let me know that they had received some calls. Right, and I'd received some calls yeah. last um, time. And I, so I, I called Greg um, and told him that we had received a bunch of calls. He was already on his way in, so somehow he... Because he's still, I think somebody yeah. called him. So for him. us, if we get the call, do you want us paging Greg, or do you want us to get a hold of you to page Greg? Why don't you get a hold of me? Okay. Um, I just didn't want to have nine people, because that That's what I did, too. What, what, I, what I do is, yeah. if there's a... Volume, because there are people who chronically complain. Yes, right. there are. But and there's complain. already yes, already one. Um, and, and you probably know who that is. <laughs> well, I might talk to you about that after. A <laughs> and because um, that's probably the same person who contacted. And I don't know what the issue is with them, because it happens every year. And you know, like mm -hmm. I don't want to get into it right now. But, yeah. Um, but there are people that chronically complain, and there's they just aren't adequately prepared for what for mm -hmm. winter in Vermont. You know. Um, or they could so the when we get calls there. from them, it's can, you know you kind of take it with a grain of salt. But if there's people calling from a number of different places, um, yeah. then then we respond. Um, I just didn't, I know he didn't like have nine of us calling, so we'll try to funnel them through. Right, right. I mean, it's great that they're calling. You're getting some of the calls, so I only get a couple right. of calls. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I got a couple calls too, and um, just um, and then when. When, we get some calls. I said, Judy, you, give Mike a call. Yeah, when Judy called. It's so sometimes we're out at, yeah. we'll get Rex and I'll need to call on it. So I've been passing right. it through you because we'll yeah. get out on these roads sometimes and say, ooh, <laughs> you need to come out. Yeah. So, you know, and when we, when we get calls from people that you don't usually get calls from, that, yeah. then the chances are. Um, so, okay. I just wanted to make sure all yeah, the same no, page. I didn't yeah. want to, you know, how will this yeah, control it? You know, way. We'll, from here on in for the rest of the winter, that'll be part of what. When we get storms like this, we'll, we'll be yeah, here. Because it's bound to happen that someone's going to watch yeah. out early or late and they went home yeah. too early. I don't know. Just, we'll just make sure that there's a way to handle yeah. it. Yeah. So the other updates, we pretty much already talked about the town hall roof. Um, and uh, I guess with Laura here, we can let Peter know that uh, a change order, just if he could, you know, he does want to get paid for that. So if he could just write up change order for the work that he did on the um, actual um, foundation. Yeah, just um, give it to us. Should it just be submitted when he submits his final bill, or do you want it ahead of that? <clears throat> well, um, technically, the select board, somebody from the select board should sign off on it, and, you know, Peter should probably sign off on it, too. 
So it might be good to do it as, you know, if he does it at the same time, it's fine. We'll just sign that and, and then put it. It looks good. I went out and looked at the roof. It looks like a good yeah. job. So. Good. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, I went out and talked to him when he was yeah, still working on it. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then the Westwood Berry Cemetery. Did Did you get the chance to talk to Richard about? Well, I haven't had a chance to talk to okay. Richard. No. All right. Okay. All right. there. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll, and we'll try to get over okay. to him this weekend. The other day, I made an effort to go over, and he was gone. So. Okay. I mean, I, I'd be glad to. I had to have some time this week. I, I know I have his phone. Oh, number. But you'll be so yeah. full. Oh my! He just well. <laughs> <laughs> if you drive by and you see him, yeah, I guess okay. that's the way to do it. Stop I've been him. able to catch him on the phone. That's usually the way. Okay. I do it. But yeah. I'm just going to let him know that we want this. That, that this offer has been made. Um, yeah. Let him know who it was and see if they want to meet as a board. Tell, and... tell him, you know, that the cemetery commission has to make a decision on that. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. um, okay. That's it. Can I ask one question? You can, yes. No. Have you had? <laughs> well, we have you? <laughs> have you had any change with Coleman Parker about the road on Cabot Road coming onto Cabot Road? No, I mean the the hearing that we had. Um, what what's going to happen with that is that um, uh, we have produced a, a first draft of the of the minutes from that hearing, yeah. and yeah. our lawyer asked that we fine tune it a little bit, which um, I haven't done yet, um, but I will this week. Um, and um, then we'll submit that to the we were lawyer. Asked to do the survey, and we're too. asked to do a survey too, which we have in process. It's, mm -hmm. it's uh, we to mark it out on a survey. Have, have hired oh, yeah. some hired someone to do that, um, and that's you know that isn't necessary for the hearing. It, it would be necessary probably if it goes to court. Um, but we would want it anyway. We would. We should have it. Should, it should have been done before. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it's that this could never. And it will happen. be filed, so it's yeah. there. What he did blocking the road can't happen right now. It will be yeah. officially yeah. legal, documented yeah. on a on a map. Yeah. And that that's needed to also for V Trans or the Agency of Transportation to recognize it as a tunnel. It has to be surveyed. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, so we'll get the minutes to our our town lawyer, um, and he will write up. Um, can't remember the. The legal term, but he'll basically submit a, a, a judgment or it's a finding. It's what yeah, we, but yeah, we, we create a finding. Yeah, yeah. Are we in a, any sort of a time crunch for yeah. that now? Yeah, sixty out? days, 60 and days. we're we it's thirty days. So we really should day. probably address it at the next meeting. Is right. that great? Right. We should probably be right. executing whatever we're yeah. executing. Right. I, I can write up whatever we got to write up. Oh, it's actually it'll be this Michael Tarrant. Okay. Time. Okay, there. Because yeah. if we wait two, we'll be really pushing it. Right. Yeah. So um, I can send him the minutes without our having well, to good. approve them, and he can work on the findings yeah. from that. That'd be um, good to get him started. If we've only got thirty yeah. days. Yeah. At all. And the minutes, they are going to. There's not going to be a radical change. It'll be just more detailed about the statement, basically the statement that I made, and then I will listen carefully to what Coleman had to make sure that you know we don't want to be. Missing or missing anything, and right? So, um, it would just be accurately um, reflect what was said, yeah. Um, so and because he, you know, Michael also knows the time, yeah, crunch, um, so yeah, time crunch, yeah, that way we can so, act on it the next meeting, hopefully. And then, it... so, uh, and I, I, I guess that we would probably approve the findings too. So, we definitely will have that'll be November 25th, um, okay. or, yeah, that'll be. When we would do that, and if we feel we need to have a special select board meeting, come in here for five minutes, and yeah. we can we could do that. that then once we've executed, then the clock for appeal starts, and then right. end, so, end if they don't. Appeal. Okay, so we got to get it done. We got to get it done, and then the next yeah. clock starts. And then, that and, then, starts. and then that's up to Coleman whether or not he wants to appeal yeah, it or yeah, not. Which he has a set time frame. I don't know right. that time. Yeah, there is a set time frame. I'm not sure how long it is yeah. either. But I'm yeah. guessing um, it's another thirty years. So if we're in a time yeah. crunch. We can meet. I can meet any time. Right. But if not, we'll, we can we'll do it the next and I'll go yeah. We just got to get it done before yeah. that 30 yeah. days is up. Because yeah. then nothing happens. we got to start over. Right. We have to have a whole new hearing. Yeah. yeah. Which we don't want to do. No. Um, no. So, yeah, whatever we got to do to make it. Yeah. Yeah, because I can <laughs> be here. Yeah, the, again, Friday through next Thursday, I'm on call, so who knows what I'll be doing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Again, no, you're running I'll, season I'll, first weekend again. It'll probably, mm -hmm. it should be done Wednesday. Um, so if it's just here, we can come and sign it, or do we have to have a special meeting for it? Uh, we probably should approve it in a public 
I think so. Meeting. Yep. So we can even call a special well, meeting. Yeah, because we could, be we're continue, we're essentially continuing. We're, yeah. You could have come up with the ruling at that hearing, for example, I think, but you're right. never going to do that. Right. But. I will ask. You should yeah, ask, ask her ask, about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, my gut feeling is that we should probably call a public yeah. hearing and mm -hmm. uh, review the minutes and uh, here's our and just issue the finding. I don't think we really right. need to do much other than right. issue the finding. Here's our yeah. here's our finding of yeah. fact and what yeah. we've decided to do. Yeah. And you know it may it may be that November November twenty fifth will definitely be a couple of weeks ahead of the deadline. Because it's okay. one of those things. that's not a conversation. It's just this is what we did. And yeah. Yeah. Now you've got to appeal it or you live with it. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to write it up, so we'll basically just be approving okay. what he's written. Um, I would assume that we might see a draft beforehand, just in case there is something. Yep. Um, be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So, um, okay. So that's kind of that's the process. That okay. Um, so he'll either accept it or he won't. Right. And, and we go to court. And if he doesn't accept it, then we go to court. Yeah. In the court, be the only thing can be in an appeal is a, a finding of what we. A dis discussed in that meeting, right. nothing new can come up. The town okay. will have to, the, and it's anticipated that it'll be a kind of a necessity clause that Coleman will challenge. Um, so we would have to make a case for why that spur mm -hmm. has to be a town road. Yep. So, and we, you know, there's a, a historical. There always has been, you know. I mean, there's we have yeah, a good it's, case. Yeah, yeah. it's not an issue. Yeah. So. And so if you fail, you just yeah. hold another hearing and start again. again. <laughs> fix whatever you fix, whatever problem you <laughs> was there. I mean, right. there was there was kind of a panic at first because we thought we would be needing that road that we thought yeah, that the camera road would be blocked yeah. off, but um, but that it never was. So. Um. But you know, we do if. If it's a town road, legally it has to be, the whole road has to be uh, legally a town road. Otherwise, right. he could do what he did before. Yep. Down further, yeah. 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 yeah he, couldn't go, he couldn't go any further than the spur, because that is a town road. Yeah, it is road. a town road yeah. where it connects. Yeah. But he, he, you know, he could, he could just block his little piece. His right. little piece, yeah. yeah. To be neighborly. Anything else? I'm good. So um, it's 8.24. Wow. I would like to make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.